Okay, we're good. We're good then. We're good. Perfect. It's quiet. Do you want me to do that again? Start over. Let's start it over. This start. is the first one. So, okay, wait, pitch your ahead. channel in under 60 seconds. Just, like, tell me when you started so I can do it. We're, we've, we've started. We're already live. Oh, God damn. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am Proper Artist. The channel that I, I have is Properly Mad. I tend to do a lot of oil painting. Um, I tend to deal with comic books and video game type of culture. When I work, I do tend to do a little bit of uh, introspective work. But... So far, a lot of the things I do is more geared towards uh, comics and, and gaming. And in Properly Mad, we are all simply phenomenal and instantly classic because there needs to be an even balance of insanity and, uh, you know, the, the whole proper aspect of people. So it's a nice, even balance. And you do pretty much oil paints only on yep. your stream. Okay. Pretty much oil paints. I mean, I, I may switch to doing, you know, like sketching somewhere down the line i might even play a game or two but for the most part right now i'm focusing on that awesome so, stuff well let's talk about how do you interact and engage your audience uh the way i interact with my audience um still in the middle of learning a lot of stuff but um now i tend to ask people questions and you know see see how they you know enjoy my stream and i put out there if anybody has any questions about Techniques that I use, where I get my ideas from, how long I've been painting, questions like that I tend to get a lot. Um, you know, I just try to give a little bit of insight on how I got started, uh, you know, uh, certain techniques I use, the type of paint I use, brushes I use. Um, I tend to be really hyper and, and uh, into my, my follower notification, uh, and it seems to get people really energized and they, they like it. So. Um, you know, those are some of the ways I interact. Uh, I like to get feedback from people while they're watching me paint. If there's any things they see that could be adjusted, if they feel like adding something, like with the Joker piece, um, the two Jokers that were that are in between his arms, the Jerry Leto uh, Joker, weren't in there originally. And I asked the people if there were any characters, you know, any versions of that character that, that they wanted to see, and those two came from the community. So. If I'm doing something that lends itself to um, my community, giving me some feedback on what I should add, uh, I, I can definitely work with that and add some stuff in there. So, you know, it's kind of a playing off my audience. And I, w I wanted to ask you, you always bring an amazing energy whenever someone follows. And I wanted to kind of understand that development because uh, I remember yesterday you were talking about how people used to make fun of you for it. Where, where was the yeah. flip where it was like, you know what, I'm going all in on this, I'm doing Essentially, it. Essentially, like, what happened was um, people that I used to, to uh, not necessarily stream with, but a friend of mine that streams, he uh, used to make fun of me for that catchphrase when I would stream, and then I was on Skype with some of my friends when I would be streaming, and even my best friend that lives in my apartment with me would make fun of me for my, for my uh, tagline and say it was too long or this and that. And, <laughs> And, you know, I just kind of got into it because Properly Mad for me isn't just about my stream. You know, I, I make t-shirts on Redbubble. I, I, you know, do the oil painting. I uh, hope to do comics and stuff eventually. So th it was a business for me before I even started streaming. And now I've got streaming on top of that. So it wasn't just something that I would say you know, to, to get people drawn in, it, it's pretty much a lifestyle for this business. Yeah, so definitely. So I have a lot of passion behind Properly Mad because it is me. And when I say it, I, it, I, 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 um, I really appreciate everybody that follows, watches, even if they come in for like 60 seconds, say what's up, like the painting, good job, whatever. Even if they donate, they don't, you know, if they're in there, they're watching, you know, they enjoy what they see, that's all I care about. And to me, as a guy from the South, and I know y'all hate when I say it, humble beginnings and all of that, <laughs> it really makes me feel awesome to know that, you know, as a guy that decided to put all his eggs in this and paint on Twitch, that you guys enjoy watching me do what I do, and I appreciate it. So to let people know that I truly appreciate them, I say it with as much enthusiasm as I possibly can to to let them know. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Well, thank you so much for participating. If if we have time, I'd love to jump back on the call with you, but I'm going to jump to the next artist here, the next 
creator on Twitch. So proper artist, thank you so much. Um, we're gonna give you a follow command and end the call here. Have a good one, man. Dude, you rock. Keep rocking. <laughs> Awesomeness. Okay, so we got another one here. Litvac, Litvac, are you down? I'm gonna give you a call here, Litvac. Kablamo. <laughs> Hello. Is it working? It is working. You're a little soft. I don't know if there's a way you can adjust that, but I can um, hear you fine. It's a new head yeah, it's a new headset, so Oh it it actually sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. Oh really? Okay, yeah. cool. So we're talking about first off, we're gonna talk about your channel. So sixty seconds or less. Let give give a pitch of your channel. Cool. Well, um I'm lit back. I do I'm a digital uh, animation game design student. I do a lot of digital work, so like painting, cartooning mostly. Um, probably some 3D stuff later on. I usually stream a lot of projects I'm working on, sometimes prints. Um, sometimes I play games. Uh, how much do you play games on uh, Twitch versus creative content? Uh, it depends. Uh, I, I've been streaming a lot more creative stuff lately, so it's mostly creative stuff and then like like probably 20% of time I'm actually streaming games. Awesome. And then we're talking about how do you interact and engage your audience, and we can talk for it about four minutes or so. Cool. Um, I definitely, I like keeping an eye on the chat. I like, because I don't have a lot of people who do pop in, so when people do pop in, I like to greet them, say hello, answer any questions they have. Um basically keep a conversation going because I feel like that's the most engaging thing and it's just like it's more personal that way you can just keep talking to them and, and like just having conversations and it gets fun sometimes too absolutely <laughs> do you do any like gimmicks or anything to engage your audience or anything like that actually not really <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have any gimmicks that I necessarily do well awesome do you do any, like, uh, community events? Like, I know you said you do gaming and stuff. Do you game with your audience or bring them in uh, after you stream or something? Well, I recently made a Steam group, so I'd love to make that an actual thing. Um, oh, people in the chat are saying I'm quiet. Uh, I can turn myself down. That might help them. Okay, got it. <laughs> awesome. Well engaging your audience and always paying attention to, to the chat. That's the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you have anything else to say, let me know. Otherwise, we'll go to the next streamer. I think I'm good. Awesome. People ask me in the chat if they have any questions. Yeah. And also, if we have time later on, uh, I'd love to try and call people back and, and you know have a more informal way to talk, but I don't know how many artists we're going to get through today. But thank you so much for sharing. No problem. I'll be here all night if you need me. <laughs> cool. Have a good one, Litvac. You too, Moss. Bye. See you around. All right, guys. That was Litvac here. I'm going to turn my volume up. We're going up. We're going up. We're going up. We're going up. That was Litvac, an awesome artist here on Twitch that you guys all should follow. Great R. Are you ready? Great R. Oh, we could also call LP Music. Let me see. Is this Great R? I can't find Great R here. Okay, we're going to call you. It was fine. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you so much, Litvac. Here, I'm going to give you a call. Greater. Greater. I always call you Great R. How's Yo. it going? How's it going, dude? What's up? So, first off, would you like to pitch your channel in 60 seconds or less? Sure. Um, I just started streaming recently. Uh, for like maybe a month or two. Um... I'm I do a lot of traditional stuff and I recently realized that I could like do realism kind of good um so I'm going to probably do uh be doing a lot of that and like commissions that I that people buy for those um so far I've only done two uh the two dogs I don't know if any of you guys have seen them I'm trying to pull but, them up um, right now <clears throat> Yeah um and then I'm trying to improve digitally, probably more so. Um, but I'm so I'm saving up for a Cintiq because um, there's kind of like a disconnect between the intros and you know whatever. 
Um, but yeah, I will give like feedback on uh, viewers' work anytime. If anyone like wants to come by and ask for feedback and whatnot, and yeah, awesome. And we're also talking about how do you interact and engage with your audience. Um, I was totally not prepared to answer that question. Well, I think think was... about it out loud. It's fine. Think about it out loud. Okay. Um. Uh, I talk to people <laughs> in the chat. Um, we we kind of just like have whatever discussion, and people like come in and like start talking about. Normally, it's like if if they ask what I use to draw this, uh, the stuff or the medium or anything, I'll answer that question and we'll talk. And uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> I was prepared to ask, uh, answer the question, the the qualities for streams. So if I could, is that okay? If Go for it. Yeah, that? yeah. Let's talk about okay, it. Okay, okay. Um, I just have this one pet peeve. Is uh, the pe some people use an audio threshold, where their mic won't pick up unless they make a sound loud enough. I, I just I yeah. don't like that. I I've been struggling um, with that myself. I my my new headset did that, and everybody was complaining about it. I think it's a universal yeah. thing that people don't like. <laughs> yeah. Um. So if you're thinking about streaming, definitely, I'd recommend avoiding that. Um. And as for audio levels, I've I've been guilty with this one where people won't even be able to hear me at all compared to the music. So. <laughs> That's totally a thing that needs to be on the lookout. Yeah, equalizing um, equalizing your audio and your uh, music is always important. You want to hear the audio, like, what, 70% of the audio and maybe 30% of the music, you think? Or yeah, even, um, even less? I, I have even less. I have it on, like, 5%, but I also have it coming out my speakers, so my mic probably picks some of that up as well. So, <clears throat> but you just got to, like, test a lot and then... You're, once you're good um and yeah <laughs> awesome dude well thank you so much for sharing maybe if we actually do get to that question we'll give you a call back but thank you so much for talking with me and talking with all the all right. amazing people here make sure you guys give them a follow i'll give you a shout out in the channel thank you so much all right thanks so much for having me peace out see ya I'm just having too much fun here, you guys. This is too much fun. I just get to like click on people and be like, "Hey, Art of Arson." Bloop, beep, bloop, beep, doop, doop. How come I can't call you? Oh, call Skype. If the call works, Art of Arson. How are you doing, Art of Arson? I'm doing well. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you really well, actually. Excellent. That's great. I'm gonna mute the channel there. All right. So we can, uh... <laughs> So first Excellent. off, this is going great, monkey. Go. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. So yeah. first off, let's let's hear a pitch of your channel. All right. So a pitch for my channel. Uh, I'm Jeff, and I host the Art of Arson, and um, I'm really excited about sharing my my work, my range of work. Um, the Art of Arson comes from an old school punk rock days name that I used to do on old flyers and stuff for events and activities. And it's all about, you know, sharing my love of teaching and my love of art of all, all varieties um, and setting hearts and minds on fire, kind of, you know, keep it in that, that positive vein that, that you, you strike out on and um, really encouraging people to, you know, engage with their own creative process as well as other people's. So really looking forward to branching out a little bit. You know, I'd set out to maybe share animation techniques, but there are so many amazing people. I'm not sure that there's an audience for it. Um, oh, absolutely kind of, there's an audience for it. <laughs> it's pencil to paper kind of techniques, but um, so I'm starting with the, you know, the painting, just working with the painting, a little bit of digital stuff, so. Good stuff. Well, how do you interact and engage with your audience is what we're talking about right now. Uh, I like to kind of check in and see where people are at um, in terms of maybe their their musical interests or their own artistic interests uh what what brought them to the channel find out you know did they come via somebody else's introduction or did they you know just happen across it and then and if so you know why are they hanging out um 
what games they play. Again, being a, a relatively newcomer to the world of gaming, I'm, I'm always curious to know what people are playing or what draws them into the, the whole Twitch, Twitch, Twitchosphere. <laughs> the Twitchiverse. Twitchiverse, yeah. And do you have do you have gimmicks? I know you just started streaming, but like when I started streaming, I was like, I'm definitely doing dance parties. I'm definitely putting on different hats and stuff. Do you have any ideas for like gimmicks to interact with your audience, or are you totally against that kind of interaction? No, I mean I'd like to. I mean that's part of you know watching other people do their thing, kind of getting a sense of what would be possible and what what I would feel comfortable with. And I think. Some of the things I'd like to do is like share outs on particular artists, like maybe, you know, create little slideshows of of different artists, be they historical or contemporary and, and kind of, you know, maybe start off a stream or finish a stream with a, you know, an introduction to this new new person or, or someone who's familiar. So like I can imagine like Caravaggio or, you know, uh, Robert Crumb, you know, just anybody who, you know, seems interesting and why I like them and then, and then dive into my own work. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing, dude. If you have anything else to say about the topic, let me know. Well, that's it. I really appreciate you hosting everybody and, and doing this, uh, this great range of stuff. I can't believe you're still, you know, streaming today after all that amazing <laughs> crit, crit wonderfulness that you share so well, well this is nice because i don't have to talk i just listen <laughs> <laughs> all right well dude have a wonderful day hope to see you around thank you you will Peace of course out. that was art of arson please give him a follow we're gonna talk to we're gonna talk to ruzo ruzo are you ready we're giving you a call Hello. Hello. What's up, Ruzo? Do I sound all right? You sound great. Thank you. You sound you sound fantastic. Oh. So, Ruzo, would you like to give us a pitch of your channel in under five seconds? Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> all right, now a sixty-second one. <laughs> you said five seconds. Huh? I know. I know. I wanted to. I wanted to put you on the spot there. Well, I succeeded in my mission. Uh, so I'm a professional artist. I teach painting classes at night. I sell my work in galleries. I decided to start streaming out of boredom. Um, my channel prides itself on not having any rules. So you can post links. You can talk about whatever you want. So if you're a down and dirty kind of person like me, you come hang out. Let's have a discussion about awkward things we can't say on Monkey on Strike Show. <laughs> on, the, on the Mossiverse. <laughs> you can't say it on the... Uh, but you know what's funny is that Moss, when he's, when he's off the clock, he gets kind of down and dirty himself sometimes over at my channel. So if you want to see that side of him, <laughs> come over you come over here. I think people are, are starting like, to realize that. Like, I, I'm enjoying myself in other people's channels now. I didn't I, used uh, to. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I, uh, oh, Starlight Spirit followed me already. Nice. Hey, thanks. Um, when I uh, when I stream, it's usually in the middle of the night. I, I live on the East Coast, so I'm more on the late night. Um, if I'm not teaching, I'll be on around 8 Eastern. If I'm teaching, I'm on around 11. I do a lot of traditional art. I'm doing traditional art right now. And uh, Although you're doing some you. digital stuff right now, though. But I'm practicing digital. I got My girlfriend got me a uh, Cintiq companion for my birthday. Um, uh back in february i've been working on it but now i'm really seriously giving it a shot so it's like 50 for 50 traditional and then the uh the digital i'm practicing and monkey on strike if you need any help with digital art he's the man you hit him up he'll give you some advice tell you how the tools work good guy <laughs> and so here let's go into the question now how do you interact and engage with your audience well i don't um that's no i'm just kidding <laughs> 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 I uh, I respond to the chat. I, I give people a lot of advice. Um, I pride myself on responding to everything. If you say something real inappropriate, I probably won't respond and I'll ban you. But other than that, what? I'm going to talk about I thought whatever. the rules in your channel were anything goes. Yeah, but you know, there's some topics that I won't broach. <laughs> there, there is a line in the sand there's somewhere. Definitely, there's definitely a line. You had to bring the ban hammer down on somebody yesterday, if I recall. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I uh, interact that way. I'm also planning on starting to do uh, viewer portraits. I haven't really got a schedule for that yet, but um, 
going to set up a little, you know, you donate a little bit. We'll do a little portrait for you on stream. Awesome. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, but interacting, I'm not really sure. I, I'm, I'm not the gimmicky kind of guy. I know you brought that. Is that the next question? What's the next question? Gimmicks? Uh, well, that, that's kind of, it kind of ties in. Like, the way I interact and engage with my audience is in very strange ways. You know, if, if enough people say that creeper emote, I put on the creeper hat. So that, it kind of ties in. So do you have plans to, to do other kind of activities well, to bring people in? Let's say that I interact with my chat in much stranger ways than you, but I don't put any hats on. <laughs> so, I, don't I, uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of um, of the uh, dog and pony show. Not to be offensive, but I'm no, not that kind I, of guy. Absolutely not. No, I totally understand. I run a different a different kind of show here. I don't have a shtick. Uh, for instance, right now, if you follow me, it's a picture of Worf being real upset, throwing some champagne on the ground. And then he says, you're just another weak human afraid to face death. That's my, uh, <laughs> that's what you get for following me. <laughs> you get insulted. So anyway, that's it. What else awesome. Well, that was all for this question. I'm sure we'll be able to get back to you later tonight. Thank you so much for sharing yeah. that with us. Thank you so much. I have a lot of fun watching your stream. You really uh, are an inspiration for getting started on here. Uh, Thanks. So thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you have a good one. Later, man. Peace. Oh, that Russo is going to make me cry. <laughs> it's going to make me cry. All right, so we're going to LP Music if he's down. I don't. He hasn't responded to me. I'm just going to call him. I'm just going to call him. Cold call. Oh, my gosh, that ringing noise is loud. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> he is there. LP Music. Hello? LP Music, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you doing? Doing wonderful. Is everything sounding okay? Are we, uh... It sounds phenomenal. Let me actually turn you up a little bit. Boom. All right. Hi, Dino. We saw that. <laughs> I'm here with the, uh, the Miss LP. Someone's in the kitchen with Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Dino. <laughs> Someone is. So let's Someone's hear a, right well, well. a three-word pitch of your channel. Three-word pitch. Music. Singing. Awesome. There you go. Oh, man. You okay. Music okay. Awesome. So, no constraints. You have 60 seconds. Just talk about your channel. <laughs> well, the channel varies, actually, from time to time. Sometimes it's myself. Uh, I play acoustic guitar, mostly. I'm trying to get into some production of the uh, electronic sort. It's more instrumental type, but um, uh, I like trying to get... You know what I'm trying to say. But sometimes I have a very special guest on, my uh, amazing girlfriend here, Miss LP, who is a classically trained singer and wonderful meatball. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say about the channel? I don't know. It's just, it kind of happens. It's hard being a singer and getting like requests because you have requests on guitar and you can just look at tabs but as a singer you cannot just like have anything so we try to be flexible with it i don't know very like flexible so, yeah actually that ties in directly with how do you interact and engage with your audience let's let's talk about that for a little bit well the main way is we take song requests now if i'm playing acoustic guitar by myself it's a little bit more lenient on the songs because i can read the music relatively easily and uh put a little funky twist on it if I feel the urge. If it's uh, the, the girlfriends here with me, then we take requests that we know or we're familiar with. And uh, something that is actually a lot of fun is we, we improv songs depending on what's going on in the chat. Oh, man. It, when you guys improv, that's when I am just so entertained. That's, that's just a personal thing. That's the viewer the, thing. The improv is say. fun. It's definitely the most fun. It's so entertaining. <laughs> Well, you guys have so, anything yeah. else to say about interacting? Interacting. We're going to move on to the next topic here about trolls, too. I don't know if you wanted to talk about that real fast. If you want us to talk about it, then we'll talk about it. <laughs> okay, yeah. How do you deal with <laughs> trolls in your channel? Well, being... I guess any artist streamer has their uh, critiques and their harsh judges, I guess. And uh, I think there's a difference between criticism and just being a jerk. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's just criticism, then we'll let it slide, you know, maybe even 
interact, I guess, say uh, thanks for the feedback or whatever. But uh, if it's just a jerk, then uh, it's insta ban. Insta ban. Honestly, we don't we don't have time for jerks. Mm-mm. No. Especially, it's like if I'm inviting my guest here my girlfriend to my house to stream and someone's like mean to her that's not okay that's that's an insta ban if yeah. you're mean to me i don't care really i, I couldn't care less but uh if you're mean to uh to the woman folk hey, then hey, you get the, I can take care of myself. you can ta- <laughs> i know you can take it but uh why why have to yeah why, why deal with it that's kind of yeah. my my view on it it's like you know what you don't have to be here you have no privilege to be in my channel if you're a jerk, I'm going to ban you. <laughs> awesome. Sure. Well, if you guys have anything else to add, let me know. Do you try to get you some follows. So, I was surprised at how actually nice people were. Yeah? I wasn't expecting that. People are very nice. I think on the internet, it's like 95%, probably even 99% of people are nice. And then you have that 1% that ruin it for everyone else <laughs> and it's that one person that always sticks in your mind right if you let it if you let if, it. if you let it that's true that's true uh i think i think that's all we have to say awesome thank you guys thank you miss lp and lp music i hope you guys have a wonderful rotation on this fine planet <laughs> you as well my friend and all you amazing <laughs> meatball stardusts <laughs> peace out see ya so awesome. Okay, so we're going to LP Music. <laughs> Dino, you know what's funny is LP Music hides his face, and I didn't even get to see it. So Mr. Creep. Mr. Creep. Why is this so hard to find you? So we're going to talk about we're going to talk about trolls right now. How do you deal with trolls and malicious users? We can also talk about the other topic, which is how do you interact with your audience? That's great, R. Um, I can't find you. I can't find you, Mr. Creep. Uh, can you call me, Mr. Creep? Can you call me? Oh, nope, I didn't accept it yet. Oh, there it goes. I hope you guys are doing well out there. If you guys are new to this, what we're, go- what we're doing today... Oh, there it is. Perfect. Yes, it worked. Wait, did it work? Yes, yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a. Uh, I mute my mic constantly. Awesome, dude. I'm and glad then... you're here, Mr. Creep. Let's give a, a pitch to your channel in one syllable. One syllable. Oh my god. Uh, creep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You have sixty seconds. You have sixty seconds. Uh, sixty seconds. Um. We do 2D art, we do uh, pencil sketches and sketchbooks, we do pens, drawings, uh, we do watercolors, we do digital art, uh, we do occasional requests from feeling it, from digging it, uh, we do creepy stuff, lots of wrinkly stuff, monsters, uh, aliens, swamp things, it's a late stream, starts around you know, anywhere from 10pm to midnight central. Awesome stuff. And you mo- you work mostly in like pencil and uh, paints, right? Yeah, I usually do just pencil sketches with a mechanical pencil. Sometimes I'll go over it with a micron pen. And then if I go over it with a micron pen, there's a good chance I might be hopping on the watercolors. Or I might be just scanning it in to do a digital piece. Awesome. Yeah, I really we, we just put up your kappa here, the digital kappa that you did. Which was, uh, started off as a pencil, right? Yeah, that was a pencil sketch. Scanned it in, uh, fixed the levels so that the pencil was darker, and then colored right under it. Yeah, it looked Added great some texture textures. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're talking about trolls. How do you deal with trolls and malicious users in your channel? All right. Well, to be fair. I have this has only been going on for about three weeks now, and I've had two trolls, and I've only banned one. Uh, why did you ban a... them? Why did you ban them? Uh, they were just spamming nonsense, and I just I don't know. It's one thing if they say like one mean comment to me; it's not even like a thing for me. But if you sit there and spam, and you're like, that's like that's uh, affecting the chat's vibe. That's exactly. Not gravy. 
Exactly. Yeah, you're the you're gravy. the controller of the vibe in your universe. And you can also talk about how do you interact with your audience, the the, the nice people out there. Oh, the nice folk, which is pretty much everyone that comes in. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll I'll do requests occasionally. Uh, I like to. I'll totally stop in the middle of a piece and do an art lesson if someone's interested in like how I do something. Like if you think I can teach you something about something you're interested in, I will totally lay some info on you. Awesome. Awesomeness. Is there anything else you wanted to say? We got through that really fast. Uh, we'll be streaming tonight. So if you're up late and you can't sleep, creep How many hours? For what, you. Is it three hours from now? Um, I'm going to try and start around 10, 30, 11 central. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Creep. You are me. an awesome Stardust Meatball. Thank you for Later. chatting with us. Later, Meatballs. <laughs> See you later. All right, we're going to Maureen. Maureen, are you ready? Maureen creates... I don't know why I can't find you. Skype. So this is the first, very first talk show, so thank you guys so much for putting up. We're having some technical difficulties, as well as just life difficulties. But on on uh, on Twitch, you just have to play through it. You just got to get through it. Uh, Maureen, do you think you can call me? I can't find you. I can't find you. Oh, Catherine. Nope. That's... Nope. Nope. I think... <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a wonderful rotation out there. I'm trying to get this one. If you need me for troll and talk, I love the trolls. Ruzo, of course you love the trolls. Actually, you have an interesting perspective on it. Uh, we're going to talk to Maureen, and then Ruzo, if you want to jump back on, we can talk for like a minute about trolls. I can't find you. Call failed. Oh, 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 oh. I found you. I found you. I have I have like a hundred people on my Skype right now. Let me try this. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Cause I can't hear you. I'm gonna call you back. Technical difficulties are amazing. Hello? Sorry about that. There we go. How are you doing? I had I had my uh my microphone down. Sorry. <laughs> no How are you doing? Doing wonderful. Great. So Maureen, if you want, could you give a little pitch for your channel in sixty seconds or less? Oh man. Um. All right. I am primarily a creative channel. Sometimes I play video games if I'm having a day. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Right now, since I'm in the middle of convention season, mostly focusing on, on digital fan art stuff, but I also do original work. Um, I'm working on a webcomic, and I do uh, traditional art, mostly with oil paint, uh, when I can. And yeah, just a little bit, little, little bit of everything. And, a a uh, lot of bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the streams uh, actually in October will be a year old, so there you go. Wow, you've been you've streaming been for a year? Have you Nearly, been doing almost have, there. have you been doing creative content for the entire year? Yeah, pretty oh much. From, uh, majority definitely creative. Wonderful. Mm. And so we're talking about trolls. We're also talking about kind of audience engagement too. But the question we're talking about is how do you deal with trolls? Man, it can be especially hard when you have boobs. <laughs> uh, definitely, it's one of those things that. Luckily, most of the time, especially in uh, in creative, I find the the amount of trolls are very minimal. Uh, definitely, when I switch over to games, is where they really start rearing their ugly heads. Yeah, uh, creative has a really great community that way, and that the the trolls are very minimal. But definitely, uh, I've noticed since some of the bigger streamers have started um, showing up in creative that that trolls have started to become a little bit more commonplace. Yeah. Um, so I can I, 
I, I admit, I can be a little bit of a defensive person. I don't usually let them get to me if I see a comment that's... You, sometimes you, you can smell them. You, yes. you see them pop up and you see their username and you're like, oh, I've, I, you get your defenses up, you get the guard up, you know, you know something's going on. They usually have a, a, an obscurely, potentially offensive username. You know? Yeah, or they, usually, they, they're usually just something blatant. Involving blur. Yeah, or, <laughs> or they're just, the way they talk, it's, it's just abrasive. It's like, well, why yeah. would someone this stupid do that? And it's like, okay, yeah. I can tell you're a troll. <laughs> For sure, and I find that a lot of them show up in groups, too. There'll be like five of them appear at the same time. Yeah, and that's actually, that's probably from 4chan. They'll find your yeah. channel and then they'll post it on there. But uh, mm -hmm. you just ignore them and they go away. But let's or let's talk about the positive. Just, uh, drop the banhammer. Yes, the banhammer is my friend. The banhammer <laughs> is one of my friends. But let's talk about the positive yeah. users. How do you engage yeah. with your audience? Uh, you know, one thing I get asked a lot is like, you know, how do you how do you get more viewers? Like, and but that's just not not the way to look at it. You know, like well, I think one of the best pieces of advice I ever heard about uh, about your viewership is is focus on the people who are there the people who want to be there and who you you enjoy spending time with you know absolutely uh, you know build your community and focus on the community you have even if it's two people that you're talking with in chat that's that's a community those are people who love you and uh if people new people come in and they see that love they want to be a part of it and they want to join that absolutely did, so, did you kind of have that idea even before you had an audience or did it kind of develop like when you finally had that audience you were like oh I just give them love and they give me back love and then it just produces from there I uh, I mean at the at very first it was very very awkward I was just very aware of of being talking to myself to a yeah. webcam um, but yeah like it, it kind of came on pretty quickly that you know very quickly some regulars started showing up and they came in all the time and I was like this is this is something this is something cool <laughs> there's there's some cool people on here and you start absolutely learning about them as people and they learn about you as people and it's just really cool to just hang out and chat with them and I I, I find I look forward to to popping on stream and seeing some of these people in my stream like they've become real friends Absolutely. And they're not. They're not just just an audience. They're. 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 It's friendship. You know. It's friends. Yeah, you're finding so many friends. The people that are like-minded and that want to support you. So it's it's yeah. so amazing. Yeah, and fellow fellow streamers too on tw uh, in oh. the creative section. Like, it's it's harder now. I find there's there's so many people who stream in creative now. But like when I first started, there'd be like twelve people in creative, and you'd be like, whoa, there's so many. <laughs> And now I log in and there's like 60 people on and you're like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing all this with us. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you say hello oh, in so. chat so we can follow you. Hello, chat. Let's well, you got to type, you gotta, you gotta type it in chat. Hello, chat. chat. <laughs> I've, been saying, I've been saying hello. I'm mostly okay. lurking and listening, but yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rotation you on this too. fine planet. <laughs> Bye. Take care. <laughs> All right, Sam, you're up, Sam. Sam Peterson, here we go. Oh, snap. Merging the streams. Hello? Hello! What's up, Sam? How's it going? How's it going, man? It's going pretty good here. How about you? Dude, it's a phenomenal day. Phenomenal day to be alive. Yes, it is. What's up, chat? How's everyone doing? <laughs> They're doing wonderful. They're having fun listening to this, I think. All the meatballs so Sam, having a good time. All the meatballs. And all of, all of the art posse, too. You just raided us. <laughs> See, yep. look at all the art posse popping out there. Had so, to return the love. For all of the people out there who don't know you, let's let's give a pitch on your channel and especially talk about the art posse. 
Okay, guys. Well, I um, I stream here on Creative. I usually stream Monday through Friday. I do a lot of digital art, um, digital painting. Um, basically, I draw buff dudes and monsters and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> essentially, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we have a community called the Art Posse. We do weekly challenges. Uh, we made this community because we just kind of wanted to have a way to hang out outside of Twitch. I love the community in Twitch Creative. It, I feel it's such a tight-knit, awesome community. And, um, you know, as you see more regulars come into your channel and you guys talk about, you know, you kind of cover the same topics, how to get better at different things, and you kind of connect. Over time, it's cool to have somewhere outside of Twitch to hang out, so that's kind of how it came about. And we thought it would be a fun thing to do weekly challenges. So we, we do, like, weekly art challenges. It's, Maybe a character challenge, a creature challenge, a weapons challenge, something like that. Um, but just something to kind of keep people connecting and like sharing art together and kind of pushing themselves to get better and that kind of thing. And those are weekly challenges, right? Yeah, one a week. One a week. And the one you're doing now is an epic weapon? Yeah, it's called Epic Weapon. If you guys want to see any of the descriptions or anything, feel free to check out the artposse.net. But um, it's pretty much kind of like, it's very WoW inspired. It's... um. It's like, you know, you have your basic low-level weapon, you have a mid-tier, and then you have a high-tier, like, epic weapon that you would get really high-level in-game. So it's kind of concepting something like that out and trying to get it to um, kind of read. A very video game-inspired challenge, which I think is always appropriate for Twitch. Right, and it's great for you because that's the kind of stuff you're interested in, right? You're, doing, you're always doing game design concepts and co character concepts. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a pretty natural progression to try to, like, you know, kind of branch out with people who are into that stuff, too, and kind of do something together as a community is always fun. Awesome. Well, we're talking about how to build your community in your channel and offline, and I thought you were the, per the perfect person to start this off. Well, thank you. So um, how do you build community? I mean, I guess I'm pretty new to this whole, the whole streaming thing, um, so I'm very much learning that myself. Um... Uh, what I've tried to do, I mean, it was just kind of a natural thing, but I really like the social aspect of Twitch and creative. So when, when I was starting out, you know, you always kind of start out with maybe like five viewers or something like that. And as or you none. do, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or none um, for a while. And then, you know, like over time, you maybe start to get one or two and then it kind of it usually grows at least a little bit. Um, and at some point, usually you'll have people that come back and that's kind of the big thing. And for me, I just want to talk to people. Um, if people like art, I'm so down to talk to them about anything art related. Like, I feel like anytime anyone tells me they like to draw or paint, I instantly feel like I have a connection with them and I want to talk to them. So it's kind of the same thing with Twitch, but it's awesome because everyone in creative, or at least mostly everyone, um, is into that kind of stuff. So naturally, you know, I'll talk to people and I'll get excited and I just talk to them like they're, you know, someone in, I don't know, like I talk to someone in person, like they're a friend or something. Um, right. Yeah. So I, f I feel like connecting with people and engaging your audience and, you know, really just trying to have a conversation with people. I feel like that's a very um, that's a very attractive uh, thing for me as a someone who watches streamers. That's something I love is when they, you know, they engage their audience and they like kind of have a community vibe to their to their stream. And that's really big for me. Um, and that's just kind of how I'm, I feel like I'm usually a pretty friendly person. I like to make friends and talk to people. Uh, so that's what I do with the viewers. And um, I feel like that's a big part of building a community is really making people feel like it's somewhere they want to hang out and uh, somewhere they want to be and they feel comfortable and like familiar with. Um, aside from that, I don't know. I think one thing that's really good is giving people a reason to come back. And that's a big part of the art posse because we get challenges and we're trying to trying to push each other as artists and to grow and learn. So it's kind of... You know, there's a reason to come back. We're doing a weekly challenge, and we, you want to see how everyone else is doing, how everyone else is progressing. You want to give feedback and get feedback, and really, like, I think it's that interactivity with the community that makes a big difference. So the challenges are really fun for that, and uh, you know, you just kind of want to grow and develop with these people and see see all their progress, see what people are up to, what they're drawing now. And I think I think interactivity is pretty much what it comes down to for having an attractive community to me, um, whether that's challenges whether that's someone who engages the audience and you can talk to and you kind of connect with on that level but i think that's probably the most important thing for me awesome dude I'm, I'm so glad you were able to talk about community because your community is so phenomenal and i love that people are always uh interacting and and participating in all of your events i mean the last one you did was the mage 
uh, right? You did the the mage event. How yeah, many people we, did you have in, in doing that one? I think I forget one. One of them we had, we had like eighteen people participate and submit something for it. And I I want to say that was the mage one. I think the last one we did was a sci-fi soldier, and then like a version of him after he's been taken over by a parasitic alien, basically. As yeah. crazy as that sounds, but um. It's it's been growing. I mean, as soon as we got the forums up, you know, things kind of kicked off really well, and uh, it's gone. It's gotten some good momentum from there. I think just having this hub where everyone can kind of post their work and share it together is a really cool thing to have. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for participating in this. I hope to talk to you again soon. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Uh, if you have anything else to add, please feel free to. Uh, I think that's about it. I think uh, you're wonderful. I think everyone in chat's wonderful, and I love what you guys do. So continue being awesome. Awesome, man. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rotation on this fine planet, Sam Peterson. Everyone should follow him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye, All right. dude. Thanks a lot, monkey. Peace out. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is too much fun. I'm just like, hey, you know, I've been watching all these awesome people forever. Why not just talk to them over Skype? Do I have your info? Ah, oh, yes, I do. We're going to call Death Sculpt up here. <laughs> and a war. Uh, <laughs> never mind. We're not even going to talk about it. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh no, audio issues. I don't think I can hear you. I'll give you a call back. Or he's just sitting in silence and laughing at me. Hello? Oh no, I can't hear you at all. Is your is your Hello? mic set up? Oh, there yeah. it is! Yeah. What's up, Death? Good? Are we good now? We are awesome now. Oh. I, I, you missed my mushy mushy. I, I answered the phone like that. Uh, mushy mushy. Mushy mushy. <laughs> How's it going, man? Going good. I just got home. I had Chipotle. That sounds like a phenomenal, phenomenal lunch. I just had the same. <laughs> or actually, dinner, I guess, for us. <laughs> oh, wow. What's all right, on, so man? so death for all the people that don't know you, which everyone should probably know you. Like, give us a little pitch for your channel. Oh God, um, I'm Death School, and everybody in my channel is a minion, and <laughs> <laughs> and we're the Death Club. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. And Panda's right behind me, He's, like, <laughs> laughing at me. Panda, yeah, keep man. keep it cool, man. Keep it cool. <laughs> I'm an so, artist. I, I sculpt. I do weird things. I'm. I don't know. Yeah, you, you've been working on that Kappa for probably what twenty hours now. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are dedicated to your craft, my friend. Do you like it? it Dude, like I love him? it. I, I I say it in chat all the time, but your chat's always going crazy, and you never see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't apologize for being popular and awesome. So, Whoa, so let's dude. What? You're what? I'm gonna give you blatant, blatant praise. So the, what we're talking about right now is how do you build community online and in your channel and offline? Oh, God, there's so many ways. So many ways. Um, I'd say one one important thing is networking. Like, just networking in general. It's 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 simple, simple science. You know, you go into other people's channels. Get to know them. You talk to them. That's that's how I do it. And I guess other than that, I, I don't know. There's there's nothing really more to it other than than me getting. I don't know. It's just oh, it's always been networking. It's important to me. It's impo It should be important to everybody. But a lot of people don't do it. Um, I mean, I sub to like fifty, sometimes sixty channels at a time. So, like, you know, constantly being in other channels is is important as well and it's super hard as an artist you know because we have to like like do our art and do commissions and and as well as like being in in all these channels and networking and emailing people and it's it's stressful <laughs> it, it can be stressful yeah <laughs> i 
I know you took a day off uh, to like ship out stuff and and do a bunch of close a bunch yeah. of open ends. Yeah, I'm still working on it, but you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, offline, I would say, I would say that Twitter is important too. You know, if you're on, especially like if you're on, um, or or Instagram. You know, if you're online, promote yourself on Twitter. Promote yourself on Instagram because it's it's an important tool that a lot of people don't follow on 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 Twitch. And like if they see you, or like they just don't pay attention, they just see like a Twitter you know a Twitter post and they they pop on in. And then they'll end up staying for like hours, you know. So yeah, and you're and you're a master of the Twitter. Like you, you're, you probably post what like ten, twenty tweets a day, and your your I, audience sees all of that. Yeah, I like to make sure that everybody is like involved in, you know, what we're doing. It, it just helps out. It's great. It allows like for for progression and like you know just all around goodness. I can give stuff away. It's. It's just, I don't know. I think it's important. A lot of people don't see the importance of Twitter, but I do. I think it's really important for Twitch. I think it's absolutely important. Yeah. Well, Death, yeah. do you have anything else to add? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, no. I love you guys. What's going on? We love you too, <laughs> Death. Awesome stuff, dude. I, I, uh, by the way, I hope you do post the Kappa uh, by the end of today. I Oh, on your on the forum? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, at eleven fifty nine p.m. I have it on Twitter. If you want to look at it, um, I would actually really love it? if you put it on on the forums so that we can yeah, get them all it. together. Awesome, dude. Okay. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> well, thank you so Anyways, much, Death. Yeah, I feel like I was like awkward as <laughs> you know. I feel like I was so awkward. <laughs> No, man, you're you're genuine. You're genuine and you're awesome, and it's always a pleasure hanging out in your it's channel. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day, and you too, my panda assassin. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right, we'll talk to you later. Peace out, dude. Bye. Bye, monkey. Bye, panda. So awesome, Death Sculpt. Everyone already knows him, but follow Death Sculpt. We're talking to Domestic Dan. I'm gonna give him a call right here. Domestic Dan, ring a ding ding. The moss is on the phone. A ring a ding 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 ding. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> you have a really, really high quality microphone. <laughs> I, I do have a really high quality microphone. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie at all about that. So, how are you doing, Domestic Dan? Oh, I'm just lovely. I've got my drink poured. Uh, the night's grand. Totally awesome. So if you want to give a pitch to your channel in six different onomatopoeias. God. Uh... No, no, no. You have 60 seconds. You have 60 <gasps> seconds. <gasps> uh, I am a variety caster here on Twitch. I have very recently got into... The creative section about a month and a half ago uh, where I do cooking three days a week uh, including one of those being baking um, for the most part that's I mean that's that's pretty much the skinny of my channel um, without going into too much detail over 60 seconds <laughs> it's okay you still have about 30 seconds left since oh my gosh I uh I also uh, wear bow ties all the time. The bow tie uh, make, completes the channel. Totally completes the I'm channel. A monster hipster, <laughs> absolute monster of a hipster. Not even gonna lie. So this is a perfect question for you, the one we're talking about now, because I feel like you've built, even even though you said you only started streaming uh, just a little bit ago, you have an awesome community. So how do you build community uh, in your channel and offline? Ah, uh, well, in my channel. Similar to yours in the whole positivity idea, I, I am just not, not at all okay with negativity. Um, it's, I'm very, I push pretty much 100% love, uh, friendship, all that jazz. I s definitely am not as uh, clean language-wise as your channel. <laughs> it's very hard for me. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but uh, very much like I... 
it's, it's all about just promoting friendship within the channel. Um, as weird as that kind of sounds. So we've had, I mean, it was talked about a little bit with trolls earlier, but when like we've had trolls come in and I've, I've turned them clean. I've got a couple trolls that don't troll anymore in my channel. Um, just because we're all about just sharing the love. Um, sounds kind of hippie, but that's how I am. So, <laughs> Hey, I understand. Um, if there's anyone on Twitch that understands that, it's me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. But yeah, in terms of offline, um, I actually, some of that, like, I hang out in a lot of other channels, kind of what Death was saying. Um, I love being a part of other communities, even if it's not a part of mine. I don't self-promote, uh, but I've met a lot of really cool uh, viewers and other streamers that way. Um, and so as a result of that, like, yeah, that, that's how I've been on other podcasts. I, I'm trying to do some meetups with people and just, I don't know, continuing to create community that I can take away outside of Twitch. And you do that uh, in Twitch and other channels as well as Twitter, right? Yeah, Twitter as well. I'm, I'm pretty heavy on Twitter. Um, a lot of silly conversations happen with my with my brain. <laughs> and so you do you you're starting to do more cooking. I've noticed. Is this going to be a common theme where you do more cooking uh, channels and shows? Uh, I'd love to. Right currently, I'm I've got it to about half and half. Three days of cooking, three days of game streaming, and then one day off. Uh, I would love to do more cooking. Unfortunately, with a full-time job, uh, it, it kind of it, it's a little difficult to throw that in there. And I hate wasting, so me cooking every day would would be would kind of be against my moral compass. Yeah, definitely. Do you share your recipes? I know you share them on um, on the on Twitch, but do you share them like on an Instagram or anything? Well, hold on a second, and I will uh, throw that in chat. Oh, actually, whisper me, and I'll throw it in chat. Ooh, actually, wait. Actually, I, I can yes. permit you. Oh my gosh. I've never done this madness. before. I've never oh done this before. Gosh. Hold on. Let me double check the link is correct. But yes, I do. I actually have a blog that I, I haven't updated in a couple of these last couple of times. So my apologies there. Uh, but that is the blog that I run with one of my beautiful mods. Um, and so that ends up, uh, yeah, having my recipes. Uh, some of those are family recipes. Some of those are from my brain. Uh, some of them are from online that I merged together with other stuff. Um, it's it's crazy madness. Awesome, dude. Is there anything else you wanted to add about community and, and Twitch in general? Uh, the creative section is just so beautiful. I'm sad that I did not get to find it uh, <laughs> earlier than a couple months ago. Um, it's it's honestly my favorite spot on Twitch. Um, and I, I'm loving that it's growing as much as it is. Absolutely. And we're going to push it as hard as we can. <laughs> Oh, yes. All right, dude. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for coming here on this awesome talk show. Thank you so much for having me, Moss. <laughs> have a good one, dude. You too. That was Domestic Dan. I didn't see if X Ashla X wanted to talk. So do we have any other broadcasters in here? Raise your kappas up if you're a broadcaster in here and you want you haven't jumped on the call yet and you want to talk. Please give Domestic Dan a follow. He does some really cool stuff here. Crunchy Beast. Crunchy Beast. Do you want to talk? Do you want to talk on here? Let me see. Oh, we've got Frigid. Frigid, do you want to talk? What's awesome about this is uh, we're, we're, we're talking to established streamers like Death Sculpt. Uh, we're talking to uh, people like Sam Peterson Art who have made these communities just in a few months. Frigid wants to talk, or yeah, 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 let's go. Oops, wrong computer. Wrong computer. <laughs> Wait a sec. What is your name? I hope you guys are enjoying it. Guys, if you have any specific questions, uh, you can put them in chat and we can do the next question there. Hello, Frigid. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing very hungry and very hot. <laughs> well, you can you can get to both of those after this after this quick call. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want, could you give a, a pitch in your channel uh, using only pantomime? Uh, pantomime. Let me do a quick Google on that. I, I googled <laughs> on a lot of earlier, and I'll, I'm gonna do no, no. Gonna just just give a sixty second pitch. You don't have to do charades. <laughs> 
I do. I, I I like to stream a lot in the creative. I've been that's like ninety percent of my streams. However, I also stream a lot of video games, mostly World of Warcraft, uh, GTA Five, TF Two. Um, I'm like a I'm like a I'm like a uh, what's a word? What's a what's a good word for this? Uh, Renaissance man. Renaissance. I'm a Renaissance man. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I like to do. I like to do a lot of things. I like to interact with people. I like to just have fun. I'm not I'm not the hardcore about anything. It's like to chill and relax and create. And that, that's that's my 60 second spiel. That's it. Awesome, Done. dude. Complete. Awesome. Well, one thing I wanted to talk. You were you were really helpful about this for to me, because uh, you helped me out with the global source thing. So I thought you'd have some interesting tips. Uh, what would you tell someone who wants to start streaming? Someone who hasn't done it before. There is a lot of homework involved, I think, if to to get into streaming. Uh, first, you, first of all, you need resources. You need to know, you need to know like what OBS. You got to look at. There's a bunch of there's tons and tons of tutorials about OBS, how to stream using that. Um, uh, what kind of webcam you want to use? What you're streaming? Uh, your upload rate, your bit rate. Your resolution, downsizing, all that, and like you need to try to get everything perfect, so that you can give your streamers or your viewers a quality stream. Yeah, and I think that's super important. Not only just doing your homework in that sense, but it's also like you want to think about like, what do I want to do on stream? Like I put a lot of time into thinking about what kind of stream I wanted. Did you have that moment where you're, you you didn't even hit the start streaming button, and you're like, well, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? Did you have to plan all that out? Uh, me, not personally, I'm like, well, I'm going to draw something, and I just wing it. You know, the people who watch me, they're like, uh, can you draw this? And I draw it for them. That's what I do. I'm, I mostly do things on the fly, I wing it, much like a dungeon master in Dungeons & Dragons, if you're yeah. familiar with that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, it's a actually, that's a really good parallel I've never drawn uh, before, but Twitch is kind of like you're the dungeon master of the channel, and you have full power over everything. Yeah, that's true. Like you, have, you, you, you create an environment and you create an experience for your viewers, and it's just super fun. It's super fun to be like the one guy to be the DM or to be the to be the streamer. It's, it's cool. It's fun. Awesome. Is there anything else you wanted to add and about any of the subjects we've talked about earlier? Um, for for new streamers, I think uh, one of the big things is is when starting off streaming. I think is pretty hard. I'm still like, I've been on the stream for like a month. Like like four weeks, uh, is to don't get, let yourself like put down. You need to, you, what, what you're streaming, you need to, to do that all the time. You don't want to put like, you need to be yourself really is what I'm saying. Like you need to, you don't want to act. You don't want to be someone else because you don't want to put on this fake facade. You want to be yourself. You want to be fun. You want to be exciting. You need to be engaging. That's the number one thing I think is the most important about being a new streamer. You, just, you need to engage your audience. You do, you do a very good, fantastic job. I see you looking and reading stuff all the time. You feel like you got a sharp BDI for the people in the chat. I know it. I see it. Happens to me. Happens to you. Well, what's really funny, fun. what's funny what you mentioned is uh, if you haven't noticed... I I am I'm doing an act on on stream. It's a total facade, but I think you did touch on something. You have to be genuine about it. Like you can't just fake it and, you know, pretend. You have to actually believe and and really emphasize that this is who you are. This is who you want to be. Definitely a good That's point. True. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you think I'm actually like this in real life? No, my <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend comments. My girlfriend watches like watches the stream with me. She's like, she's like, hey, there's no way he acts like that all the time in real life. He's way too happy and too, too, too. In you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, probably. But deep well, inside of his heart, that's who he really is. <laughs> exactly. No, that's exactly what it is. It's like maybe I don't act like this all the time, but like this is who I want to be. Yeah. Well, Frigid, let me know if you have anything else to say. Say to um, the world. No, say to the future. Um, stay in school, don't do drugs, uh, don't drink and drive, uh, follow me, um, give me a kiss, and <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on here. I hope you have a wonderful day. We're going to get you follows. Say something in chat so people can follow you after the call. All right. Peace out, dude. Adios. All right. This is so much fun. Are you guys having fun? Because I am just having a blast here. I'm, like, doing no work. No work whatsoever. 
going on to the next one. I'm just gonna sit back. And there's Frigid in the chat. Please give Frigid a follow. Give Crunchy, Bear, Crunchy Beast a follow. Domestic Dan a follow. Art of Arson. Hello, X Ashla X. Hello. How are you doing, dude? Doing good. So, X Ashler X, can you give us a pitch of your channel in a foreign language? No. <laughs> okay, well, you have 60 seconds. <laughs> uh, basically, what I've been doing is just uh, mostly digital stuff, but a um, little bit uh, traditional stuff here and there. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you've been doing a lot of digital stuff, right? Like, um, was it Photoshop? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I'm actually streaming currently, so... Oh, you are? Oh, that's totally fine. It's yeah. a talk show on your yeah. channel, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they can hear me right now, though. I think I muted it. <laughs> They're not involved. Well, but, too yeah. bad for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're talking but, about uh, what would you tell someone who wants to start streaming? Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> that's, dude, that is, that's the incredible advice. Like, you could, you could do your homework. You can you can spend a bunch of time, spend a bunch of money on products, but I I agree, just do it. Yes, just do it. Just do Cause it. It's because um I I've I've been trying to to kind of do what you've been doing with like planning wise beforehand, but when it really comes down to it, you just gotta just do it. Because that stuff can get get in the way of actually you know doing the art. End up doing too much of the uh, extra stuff and not actually doing the work itself. So. Yeah, yeah. If you spend the time doing it off camera, it's like almost wasted time. It's like you yeah, gotta, you got to do it I, on stream. Yeah, I, I still have that problem because I'm trying to still like promote what I'm doing, but and there's that friction that happens. But it's it when you actually get into the work, that's what's, what's the main focus of what I at least I'm trying to do. Absolutely. So. so let's let's spin this question around. What would you tell yourself before you started streaming if you could go back in time? What would I tell myself, man? Like, I don't know. Don't uh, do this or do this. Um, no, I wouldn't probably change anything different. It's it's uh, currently right now. It's just like I just need to know more information. I just need to learn more. So just probably I need to tell myself right in the now. You know, find out more information and stuff, and connect more, get more updated on uh, all the weird stuff that's out there because. So, some of the things that I'm seeing people do on on Twitch, it's like, how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? So, so many questions. But that's basically where I'm at with that stuff. So, Awesome. Well, is there anything you wanted to touch on uh, from the earlier questions? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, may, maybe the, the troll one? Yeah, well, uh, how do you deal with trolls in your channel? Well, well, for me, I'm, I'm in the same boat where I've just kind of started. I haven't had that much flack, but the um, when they have come, came, when they have shown up in the stream, it uh, what was it? It was when I was doing the kappa, which was quite appropriate for you know a troll to troll to troll, you know. Yeah, I so, actually so noticed that like, when I was doing my kappa. That's when the trolls came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yes, this is this is good. This is this is the this is where you're supposed to be doing this at. at. It's recursive. It's it's great. It's perfectly fine to to be a troll while I'm doing the kappa. But most most of the other times uh, the the chat's great. So I have not experienced that. So that's that's my thing with it is is I don't know and uh what to really to do with that just to try to be positive and then I guess with the band hammer i guess i'm gonna maybe have to get to that point it's eventually but it's i have not yet i have not gotten to that, that point yet so <laughs> well actually you could also talk about like what if someone comes up to your work like at a gallery or like uh in art school and says your piece is crap you should stop doing this because you're crap like what's your thought process like do, do you just ignore them do you spin their words to be a compliment like how, how would you deal with that kind of criticism I, usually that, that that implodes my my thought process like I usually like kind of shut down for a minute with that kind of stuff and have to really think about it and then come back like days later and actually uh, like have a conversation with that person about it um, 
because yeah, that 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 that's that's always tricky with with that kind of stuff. Just like the the question right now with you, it's just completely like I don't know. I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Anything else you want to say to the world, the future? No, uh, no, just uh, just do it. I guess just draw, get on Twitch. Um, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, if there, if there's any limitations you have with with uh, you think you need that or whatever, just you know. Get just get, get yourself in a place where you can actually have OBS or something running on the computer and, or a camera, and just do your work, do your art. Yeah, just, it's, just do just it. Do it. <laughs> just do it. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, X Ashler X. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank cool. you for being here. Yes. All right. Pe peace out, dude. Peace out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's just too much fun. We're going to call Olivia up if she's down. Olivia Goddess. So uh, we're going to talk about the next topic. This was brought up by the chat. Uh, where do you find your inspiration and how do you work through a creative block? So if you guys have any other questions for broadcasters, you can pop in the chat and talk about it. Uh, Olivia, are you ready for the call? And Draskit, I can talk about creators on Twitch. So Creators on Twitch is a forum where anybody, any broadcaster, any viewer can come to check out all of the community projects. And we're also doing stuff to bring the stream teams together. We're bringing the different art communities. We have the Art Posse linked on here. Uh, we're trying to bring the community together uh, as one to build the creative community up. And it's not only about the creative channel. There's music, programming, game development, and talk shows. And you know what? Let me just reveal Let me reveal my three-month plan for this while we do Olivia. Perfect. Oh, so, Olivia, I'll call you in about a minute here. Let me reveal my three-month plan. So, July. You guys have already all been a part of the, the plan in July, which is to fuse all of the different creative streams together to try to get interaction between all of the, the broadcasters. Uh, so that was the July Create a Kappa month, where we all made one thing, and we're going to put it on a giant mosaic and advertise with that. The next month, August, is going to be Create Something Inspired by a Broadcaster, something that Miss Cookies and Val Dudes helped me come up with, which is basically, you do a, maybe you do a portrait of Lyric, maybe you do a fan art of, you know, Soda Poppin', and then you're going to put it on social media. You're going to tag them. That's a way for the creative community to start branching out into the rest of Twitch. And then in, in September, we're going to be doing projects like the Infinite Corpus, our self-portrait project. And we're going to be trying to get artists like a, a blacksmith or a mu magician, uh, people that haven't broadcast yet on Twitch, a, a woodworker. We're going to try to find all of those artists, and maybe you have like uh, an artist that you really respect and enjoy. Um, September is going to be all about planting our feelers out, not just the Twitch community, but to the greater community out, out there. And we're going to try to bring all of the other artists, like the, uh, the blacksmith who's not doing his blacksmithing stuff on Twitch yet. We're going to try to find the magician who wants to do a magic show here on Twitch. The puppet, someone who does puppeteering or villain, ventriloquism. We have to find all these people. So that's our three-month plan for creative, and that's what the creators on Twitch is all about. All right, so. Oh, uh, Sam Peter Snart. So the Create Something by a Broadcaster and all of the community events are going to be month-long events that are going to be introduced at the um, at the beginning of the month, and they'll be due the very last day of the month, uh, midnight Pacific time, since that's my that's my time, and I'm I'm selfish. So we're gonna call Olivia here, and we're gonna talk about inspiration, creativity, and it's, you, you guys are in for a treat. Call in Olivia up. <laughs> Oh, I'm calling on the wrong machine. I'm I'm sorry. I called you on the wrong machine. Olivia, I'm going to call you back. <laughs> fail. Fail fish. I fail fished. I fail fished. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. Wonderful. So, Olivia, would you like to give a a 60-second pitch of you and your channel. 
basically my channel is just random. I do what I feel. Awesome. So we're talking about how do you find inspiration? How do you get through creative block? And also anything that you wanted to talk about here? Well, um, a lot of my inspiration, believe it or not, I know he's listening, comes from Adonix. He's <laughs> like one of the one, he's like one of the people that has pushed me, even though I can't see, to um, always do what's do my best. Yeah, I checked out Adonix. Uh, I think you were doing a Skype call with him, and he was working on some art for you, right? Yeah, he was working on my, I think it was my Be Right Back screen. He does a lot of, um, he's just starting to do the Twitch alerts and learning Toon Boom, so he's, he's, he's yeah, <laughs> he's, he's awesome. That's awesome. So do you ever find yourself like sitting there and thinking, I don't know what to do? do or, like, um, I don't know what to create next. Do you ever have that issue? yesterday <laughs> <laughs> how did you work through it or did you work through it i took a nap hey that works that, come back fresh to the piece yeah awesome um, yeah that's pretty much that <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to talk about about the previous topics maybe about uh interacting with your audience or about your process my process is pretty random too. I you I think you've been in my stream. I do everything pixel by pixel. Just about. It's just when I have it blown up it's easier to see. Uh interacting with my audience. Honestly, if I can't see the chat half the time I don't look at the chat a lot because it's harder to see. Um but if anybody has like anything to say to me, I do ask everybody to type in caps so I can see it. And for all of you guys who don't know Olivia, I just put her, her link in the channel. She's an artist, and she's, she can't see. And, but she still makes art, so it's amazing. It's, it's totally incredible watching her work. And honestly, Olivia, you are such an inspiration. I, just, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for sharing it on Twitch with us, because you are so awesome. Aw. <laughs> I have fun doing it, so... Well, it, it really shows. It really shows that you have a passion for it, that you, you really care about it. Uh, and and it, it, it brings you brings you happiness. And I totally know all about that. I know all about that. <laughs> Trolls. Trolls are fun. Trolls are fun. And you know what? Uh, someone like you who probably can't keep up with the chat, you can start adding random people as moderators, people that come to your chat. Uh, to help out with it, if you do have a problem with that. And I'm always happy yeah. to moderate in your channel. You're already a mod. Ash is a mod. Adonix is a mod. Adonix plays with them. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth, he'll try to break their brains or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but unless they're jerks, we just automatically ban him. Or... Yeah, that's that's what I do. I don't even think about it. I don't even bother we reading what they have to say. I had a creative one. They actually found an old, old Skype account that's abandoned and thought they would create an account just to troll me with. <laughs> with my first, last, and city. Uh, first, and last name in my city. It's like, oh, you're clever, man. Yeah. That's, that's what you got to do. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Olivia. Do you have anything else you want to say to the audience out there, the future? Um... Don't be scared. If you want to do something, do it. Don't let anybody stop you. And uh, OBS or Xplit are your best friends. Yeah, and Twitch is your best friend. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Olivia. You are an amazing artist and an absolute inspiration. I'm so glad I got to talk to you. Thank you, and I'm glad I got to talk to you too. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye. Please give her a follow. Olivia Goddess is incredible. Incredible. All right, so we're going to Crunchy. Are you up, Crunchy? Crunchy Beast, are you down? Amazing words of wisdom, too. Just do it. Don't be afraid. And OBS. <laughs> All right. This, actually, this is going to be great. Crunchy Beast will be able to talk about inspiration here. He's not ready. He's sitting there like... <gasps> Crunchy Beast. What's up, man? Crunchy Beast, how's it going? Hello. Uh, do I sound good? Does it sound good? You sound perfect. Okay, good. How, How is it man? going, my friend? 
I'm I'm doing good. Just ate some pizza. I'm leaning back. I'm doing good. Sounds pretty good. So, mm -hmm. in eight words, no, no, we're not gonna do that. Six. <laughs> you have sixty seconds. Uh, let's let's hear about uh -huh. your channel. Let's hear about your channel. Well, uh, I'm an animator, so like animating on Twitch is kind of hard. So I just try to, I don't know, communicate as much as I can with the chat. Um, draw requests, draw stuff that I feel like. You know, I'm I'm a digital artist. I do not work traditionally. At all? Originally, I would like to. Uh, I used to, but I'm not good at it, as good as I would like to. And I, I, I try to practice, but off stream for now. Uh, on stream, just digital all the way. Awesome. And you use, you use only Flash, right? Only um, Adobe Flash, is it? Mostly Flash. I, I use a bunch of programs. I use uh, Manga Studio, Photoshop, uh, what else, what else? I forget the names, but I, I use a bunch of programs, mostly Flash, though, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I noticed all of your drawings are done in Flash, all of the, the stuff you do. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I just got used to it. <laughs> yeah, and once you get comfortable with something, it's hard to, to switch it up because it, yeah, it, yeah. I've I've seen why you like it. You know, you can resize things. You can. It's vector based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's awesome stuff. So what we're talking about is where do you find your inspiration and how do you work through creative block? You know, this is actually like an interesting topic for me because I sometimes I lack. No, most times I lack inspiration. So what I do most times is just try to go watch stuff that made me get into art in the first place, get into animation, get into streaming. Um, like the gorilla's piece you worked on, it, you probably were just like sitting there like, I don't know what to draw, and then the gorilla's mm -hmm. song came on. No, someone someone was just actually, oh, she draw 2D from gorillas, and I was like, okay. And then I, I, I never knew that much about gorillas, so I just did a few, you know, Google searches, fa I found the characters, um, you know, I dig them, so I tried to, you know, to draw them all. Awesome, man. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you work through a creative block? You just you just pull up a, a random image and you just start working, or is there like a process you have to go through? There, I mean, I pull up random images. I go to, you know, you, um, old YouTube channels uh, from animators that I used to watch when I was like 14 and 13 that got me into animation. Um, I go watch streams, you know, the streamers that are here, most of them, I know them and I watch them for inspiration, you know, I, yeah. I don't really have trouble, you know, getting out of my creative blocks, but <clears throat> you guys help, you guys help a lot, you help, <laughs> just, just being here on your channel, like, you're, you're happy, I can see that you love doing what you're doing, and that inspires me. <laughs> well, you're an inspiration. I mean, the the few minutes that I get to catch you in the morning, I'm I'm so happy to to see what you're doing with the community, uh, how you're interacting with your chat, and honestly, you have one of the best raids that that you do. I absolutely <laughs> love how you do your raids. <laughs> Got to keep them coordinated, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, is there anything you want to talk about about the old <clears throat> topics? Like, what would you say to another streamer or anything like that? Uh, I like to talk about what you would, what I would tell someone to you know that wants to stream. There's not really anything. I know I get. There's some stuff that's important. Like if you want a webcam, uh, go for a decent quality one at least. A uh, good microphone quality is important. But there's there's art streamers that don't have webcams that don't even have microphones. Um, just just do it. That's all there is to it. Just do it. Just stream. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Just just do it. Just go for it, man. Oh, geez, man. Death, you're my inspiration, okay? Love you. Death, you are an inspiration. Yeah, Admit it. Accept it. <laughs> you're amazing, man. <laughs> but seriously, if you want to stream, just do it. I didn't think I would ever stream. This is, you know, it's so weird for me. I, I haven't been streaming for that long. I've been streaming for around the same time as Death. Um, you know, just, just go for it, man. Don't be afraid. Just do your own thing. Just be yourself. Or act if you want to act. Act. Um... I try to be myself as mu as much as I can, um, but yeah, just go for it and and stream and do your thing. Awesome. Any? Do you have one word you want to say to the future? 
No, really, no, dude, no. I don't know. I'm very nervous. You say nothing to the like, future. I feel like I'm at a school presentation. My heart is bumping. I don't know why. Dude, you're I, you're <laughs> awesome, man. You're doing great. <laughs> you're an awesome streamer. I hope everyone follows you. Thank you so much for being here and talking with us today. Thank you so much, man. Thank for thank you for having me. Thank Have a great day, man. Likewise, man. Likewise. Peace Bye, out. Bye, chat. All right, so we're going over. Let's see. I think Draskia is up next if she wants. Oh, she's offline. She's offline. Um. Oh, I just got a new one. Okay, we're going to go with it. We're going with it. So Technotron, this is a talk show. We're talking about the topic. The topic right now, where do you find your inspiration? How do you work through creative block? And who is... Uh, if you just added me uh, on Skype, can you include your username in the chat? I don't want to just add random people. All right, Technotron, we're going to give you a call here. And Crunchy Beast, that was awesome. Thank you so much. You're incredible. <laughs> oh, I'm calling on the wrong machine again. I did it again, you guys. There we go. There we go. Hey, man. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah. So, but, Technotron, let's let's hear yeah. a, a pitch of your channel in 60 seconds. Well, I I am just a huge fan of creation. That has put me into the arts all the way. I do music, gaming, art, anything that I can get my hands on to just create, and that's me. Awesome, man. So we're talking about inspiration. Where do you find inspiration, and how do you break through those times where you can't find any? Well, like where I find inspiration is in perspective. Like I will look at the same thing and try to find an alternate angle. So no matter what I have, there are so many things I can pull from it. Shadow, texture color, like contrast, all these different values and mediums, like that's what I like to do. And it shows, I mean, like with the Kappa project, you, you basically took the Kappa and you're like, I'm going to do something completely different than has been done before. <laughs> Let me pull that up well, actually. Yeah, like uh, typography, like no one really goes to that let alone knowing what type is. Like, so many t people take, uh, they see Helvetica, and it's everywhere, and they don't even know that that's something. Or, or that and, there's, there's a, an entire community of graphic designers who hate it. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. It, and it's one of, like, it's a form within itself. It's really interesting. But... Uh, also, what you said before, like a block, like if I have a mental block of something, like I just can't get over it, the best thing you can do is just sit there and doodle, like just keep on going. Like you just sit there and just start drawing a line and just keep on going off of that and eventually it turns into something. Yeah, I mean, a Death Sculpt is probably the best example of this. He'll throw something on the paper and he'll sit there for a few seconds, and then he'll do exactly that. He'll just pu start pushing the, the ink around and start making shapes out of it. Yeah. It, like, and I, when I was a kid, I used to take chalk on black paper, and I used to try drawing popcorn. And then I'd take that shape and turn it into something else. Yeah. Oh, I, I would do that all <laughs> the time. I'd actually do a game where I would ask a friend, draw any random shape, and then they'd pass it over and I would draw something on it and we'd pass yeah, it back yeah, and forth. I, I used to do that to kill time on planes and stuff when I was traveling around. Yeah. <laughs> well, are there any other topics uh, that we talked about that you wanted to, to bring up? Uh, there was one about uh, interacting with your audience um, or engaging trolls or anything like that. Well, like, the thing is, is it's really good not to engage the trolls because I've been doing this for two years. Oh, and I didn't know that. I, yeah, I I would I like ripping into them, 
as much as they like ripping into me. I think it's fun. But then it just gets overboard and it gets a little mean spirited and I just don't like it. Like when it's fun and back and forth, that's one thing. Yeah, when it's playful, but, it's different than when yeah. it's just hateful. But like I learned from uh, watching, I'm trying to remember his name, Bacon Donut. Uh, he just says, well, sorry, this channel's not for you. I can direct you to one that you might like. He, he just tries to spread the word about other people's streams and tries to make someone suitable and happy. Because there's really a stream for everyone here. Absolutely. And uh, the thing I don't get is someone will come into your channel and troll, but all you have to do is just stop watching that channel if you don't like it. <laughs> it yeah. It, it, and the thing is, is you just kindly say, oh, I'm sorry, this isn't right for you. Just go somewhere else. And it, it, it's so much better just to time someone out. It, uh, usually they're just looking to get a timeout or a ban. Yeah, they feel like that's or their success. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, and like I'll I'll throw it their way if that makes them happy. <laughs> like, whatever. Awesome. Well, is there anything but, else you wanted to say to the audience, the future, the world out there? Oh, just yeah, like find like everything is yours for the taking when it comes to art. So don't be afraid if you see something to take a picture to take a little note, do something, let everything inspire you. Like, like, art is really just about taking something and creating it in your own light. As much as you want to try to copy something, it's a little bit different every time. That's beautiful, so, man. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing, sharing that wisdom yeah. with us, dropping that wisdom yeah, bomb. Yeah, no problem. I hope you, you have... You take care, and thanks for having me. Peace out, my friend. <laughs> Later. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I'm having too much fun with this. Okay, so I just changed the topic. What are a few qualities you look for when watching streams? This is very important, too. Uh, and I think broadcasters are uniquely uh, able to talk about this. Corey C., do you want to talk about this? Do you want to talk about this? I have you right here. Um, awesome. And Draskia wants to join us too. Cool. So we're going to do Corey C if he's down. Sure. Okay, we're going to give him a call on the correct machine. <laughs> correct machine. <laughs> and if you guys have any other questions, uh, that's that was all of my questions I had. Uh, we can start calling up uh, some other people in the chat, trying to get new streamers out there. But if you have any questions you want to ask him, I'm going to give Corey C a call. <laughs> How's it going? Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can. Yes, I can. Hi, there you are. Perfect. I'm gonna pause the uh, the uh, stream over here so that my internet doesn't fog down. There we go. <laughs> Might get a little confusing hearing me delayed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Corey C, let's hear a pitch of your channel in under sixty seconds. Oh man. Okay. Um. I recently decided to switch over to mostly creative streams, so I do about 90% creative streams now. Um, I used to play a lot of video games on Twitch, and I still do from time to time, but I just feel a lot happier when I'm, if I'm sitting in front of the computer for like six hours, I really like having something to show for it when I'm done, so I have, I have art to do in that time, and I think that's really nice. But uh, my channel is basically just digital art for the most part. Um, I try and give tutorials if I can. If I like know anything about a subject and somebody asks about it, I'm always down to share what I've learned from other people. And uh, I just like to try and have like a genuine community. It's it's been nice lately. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, that's what I've found. It's an awesome community, really supportive. So as a broadcaster, you have a unique uh, way of looking at streams. So what are some qualities uh, you look for when watching streams? Or as Olivia pointed out, listening to streams? Um, I think it really depends. Like as uh, when I was doing uh, video games, I thought it was super important to have like all the, the best gear and to have like a stream that looks really good to like draw in a lot of viewers. But the more I do creative streams, the more I'm, I'm interested in the communal aspect of it 
it, it's less to do with how the stream looks or functions for me than it is how I feel when I'm there. So like, if you have somebody with all their sweet gear, that's that's great. And if they can foster a community that you want to be a part of, then that's even better and that's worth watching. But like my friend Molten Inc. will stream. He, he just bought a cam recently and he, I really enjoy watching his streams, you know, and I've never seen his face. So <laughs> I think <laughs> for creative streams, at least for me, it's less about the content or what it looks like, but more about the community and how it feels when you're there. Absolutely. So is there anything, uh, kind of a, a counter question to this, what are qualities in a stream that make you instantly unfollow or just leave immediately? Are there any things like that that uh, pop out? <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't want to like single anyone out. So no, no, don't single anybody out. But, don't single anyone no, out. No, no, no. But I, I, was, um, I was really into this guy on YouTube who recorded all of his streams and put them up on YouTube, and I learned a lot of things from him. Um, and when I went to like finally check out his Twitch stream so I could catch it live, I like followed in advance and like went to look. He said not a single word to the chat the entire stream, gave his lecture, and then signed off. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> I really was looking forward to like talking and, and understanding some more things. It's, and interacting. You, yeah, exactly. I think for me, if you're on Twitch, you're agreeing somewhat implicitly like, I'm here to talk to everybody while they're here. I'm doing a live show, an interactive live show, because that's what Twitch is for, at least in my opinion. Absolutely. And if you're not, if you're not going to even acknowledge the people that are there, I, I don't know. That's that's my drop, like my thing that pushes me away from a stream. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's the point of Twitch. You have yeah. not only live content that you're delivering, you're able to interact with that live audience in a unique way. And, you know, there's a delay. There's 10, 15 seconds, maybe even yeah. 30 seconds. But it's it's, it's almost not... instantaneous. Exactly. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you wanted to talk about, like uh, inspiration and breaking through that creative block? Yeah, okay. This is uh, an opinion that isn't popular with a lot of artists, but um, I, I believe that inspiration is fickle, and it's not always going to be there for you. Um, and if you're willing to have a discipline of, like, making something every day, even if it's just, like, circles, make a quick doodle, you're going to be able to work a lot more smoothly. Like, when you sit down and you're like, I really don't want to be here today, that's... If you're relying on some sort of outside source or some inspiration to pull you through that, it might not always happen, and that's a bummer. But being able to say, like, look, I sat down today and did something, even though I wasn't super feeling it, I think that's rewarding, and it's going to help push you further. Absolutely. Dude, that, I, that resonates so much with me. Absolutely resonates with me. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. I said that once, and a lot of people were very upset with me. I don't understand. No, I mean, as an artist, is the whole thing. <laughs> no, you have to make your inspiration. You have to yeah, absolutely control it and take the reins of, of the horse. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. So thank you so much. Is there anything else you wanted to say to Twitch or the future? Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, just like I said, inspiration is fickle, but look and this is stupid because i believe in both look for it everywhere because you're going to find it it's just some days you're not going to feel it so look for inspiration everywhere watch a bunch of people stream on twitch and then uh, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the progress you make in your own work <laughs> well thank you so much for being here i hope you have a wonderful day thank you for dropping the wisdom bomb on us <laughs> of course you have a great day <laughs> peace Thanks out dude. Me. all right bye so awesome. Uh, so I know I said I said we were going to get to Litvak and then Great R. Uh, Draskia, are you down? I wanted to get uh, unique broadcasters as much as possible, and then we can always bounce back onto other ones. Okay, let me give you a call. Draskia. And Draskia is actually not someone I follow. That's a problem. Hello, how is it going? I am wonderful. How are you? I'm doing so well. So this is this is a unique opportunity because I'm going to ask you to pitch your channel not only to chat but to me because I just realized <laughs> I had never heard of you. 
Yes, hi. Um, well, I am a creative streamer. I started before there was a creative section, actually. Um, I started in Minecraft, doing Minecraft art um, a year ago in August. And now I do t-shirt designs. I've done designs for um, like Wolves, Scarlet Rose, a lot of the build builders. Um, I do commission work, uh, like icons and things like that. Pretty much just illustrating and things. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's mostly digital stuff? Yes, mostly digital art. Yep. Okay, cool. So we're talking about a few qualities you look for in watching streams. What are, what are some things that draw streams. you in? Um, a person's connection with the chat is something that if I come into a channel, and especially a creative channel, and I see somebody interacting, um, interacting like with other with other people in the channel, and asking what they do, and keeping them involved. That is something that will have me hit that follow button immediately. If I come into a channel and things are, you know, kind of offbeat or or even a little bit unique, that is another thing that will get me to stay for sure. <laughs> uh, when you say unique, what do you mean? Like entertaining or like yes, full definitely. of gimmicks? Like entertaining, full of full of life is a very good way to put it. Somebody who wants to be there, who who really shows that they that they want to be connecting with the people. Absolutely. Cool. Well, uh, and also, as a as a spin on this question, what are a few qualities that turn you away from a stream? That you you, you hear something and immediately you hit that unfollow button or you change the channel. <laughs> well, I'd like to say definitely I am talking about death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He had, one of those, he had one of those streams where I was like, okay, I have to follow this guy. <laughs> um, but uh, something that will make me leave the channel is definitely people being. Um, Hmm. I want to say being rude, pretty much. That's about it. Like, there's there's a banter side of things, but for the most part, people just being not not being friendly and nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, when yeah. when I see someone be mean, that for me is like I instantly change the channel. Like, it, it there's <laughs> rudeness that's funny. I, like Ruzo, I'm thinking of. Uh, he's a exactly. painter in the chat. He's rude, mm -hmm. but it's it's a it's a yes. hilarious kind of rude. Yes, it is a hilarious kind of rude. Oh, I'm sorry. My my children are flocking, so... <laughs> oh, that's fine. So is there anything else you wanted to say uh, to me, I, to the audience? I am just so happy that you're doing this. This is an amazing, amazing thing. I apologize for background noise. This is an amazing thing you're doing, and I am... You're going to see a lot more of me in your community. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope to see you here. And check out creators on twitch.com if you haven't checked it out yet. Oh, I definitely will. I've been all over the site and I'm going to go back over it again. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so anything else you want to say to the future? Uh, no, that's it. I look forward to seeing this grow and the community grow and, and everything like that. It's like a baby to me, so I'm so happy to see this. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so much for participating. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to checking out your stream. Yes, definitely, and vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> have a good one. Mm -hmm. You too. Bye-bye. All right, so we got the fun train in the chat. You guys are you guys are silly. You guys are spelling fun wrong. You're forgetting the N. All right, so do we have any other broadcasters out there who haven't who haven't done it yet? Raise your cap is in the air if you're a creative broadcaster and you haven't been able to talk yet. Boom. We've got Bladed Fuentes. Bladed Fuentes. Oh, Curse Jen! How did I, how did I forget Curse Jen? We're calling Curse Jen up. Curse Jen. Boom. Uh, also, if you guys have any question about... Uh, if you have any question about uh, broadcasting, the creative channel, uh, communities here on Twitch, feel free to ask in chat and we can change it up. Curse, I can't believe I forgot you. And then Litvac and Greater, we're going to get back to you guys. Hey, Donix. Hello, Curse. Hello. How's How it you? going? Awesome. How you doing, dude? Pretty good. So, Curse, in binary... Give us a pitch in your channel. One zero zero one one zero zero. Uh, okay, that's awesome. Sixty no, seconds. No, Sixty that, seconds. That, you can talk about your channel. That was the first letter. Wait. <laughs> 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 um, I am Cruz Jin, and I'm not exactly part of the creative section, but I'm a programmer in the new programming section that was launched pretty much earlier this month. 
And um, mainly I stream um, my app that I'm developing um, called Optimalist. And it is a productivity app that is, aims to help you take control of your life and help you manage your time and your priorities and your projects so that you don't have to use your memory to think of all that information, which can be faulty at times. Um, and I also help out with um, people who have questions on programming and I also um, play games from time to time as well, but uh, you know I'm I'm also pretty entertaining uh, compared to some other streams um, where you know some sometimes sometimes people are just like super laser focused on what they're doing and I try to um, engage chat and you know get people having fun which you know if you hang out with me my community is pretty uh, fun and, and energetic and interesting <laughs> and entertaining in themselves so. So, Kurz, uh, we're, we're talking about what are a few qualities you look for when watching streams? Um, definitely looking for people who, um, well, first, they have to have entertaining content. They have to have um, a very, very easygoing and um, energetic personality. Like, just people, I, I always look for people who, <clears throat> they, they, have gone through this phase in their life where they realize that they um, have the power to shape their lives and um, create their world basically and share it with others. And it's it's like the uh, people who like I get I guess it would be like maturity or self confidence, but really it's like just people out like looking to. Um, inspire themselves and others and also create and um you know uh and to, to, um, be entertaining on the way you know yeah absolutely and I, a question i wanted to ask specifically to you uh mostly because i know your development as a streamer because i've been watching you the last few months because not only are you my, my best buddy i enjoy watching you uh i'd love for you to talk about that shift um when I finally convinced you to do programming on Twitch. I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd love to talk about how that changed your stream and changed your outlook on streaming. Well, yeah, at first I was just streaming games just because I was like, well, if I'm going to be playing games, I might as well let people watch, you know? And that was just kind of my attitude. That it was just kind of like complacent. But um, you, were, you were telling me about you know, creativity is a huge part of Twitch. And I remember us talking about that like three months ago. And um, I think the, the thing holding me back was I was really scared that people would um, sabotage what I was working on, I guess, that I had worked so hard on. And um, But then I realized it was such a great way to um, get get my app out there, you know, just get get your name out there and, you know, um, for me, positive feedback is one of the greatest things, like the greatest engines for me, like just because if, if, if I had received positive feedback, I just am even more motivated. And, it it you know, builds that fire. It, it builds that inspiration in you. Yeah. And I think that was the most amazing part was um, the fact that people, well, I'm a little lucky because programming is so new in Twitch, but like I'm not game programming, but regular programming. Um, but, uh, I was just amazed at how supportive people are just like coming in just to check the, the app out and saying stuff like, Oh my, man, that's a great idea. And a good job thinking of, um, doing programming on Twitch to build your audience and, you know, and, and, and people build your, build your testing base. I mean, you have people, that's... how many people do you have testing your app now? Like 20 people probably. At least 20, I mean, on a regular basis, around 20 maybe. Um, and it's awesome to get the feedback and people jump in and say, oh, man, I was loving this part of your app. Or, oh, man, we can we should develop this part because it could be so useful. And so it's like ideas are just bouncing around all the time. And Or the, the one that I love uh, is when people say, have you thought about using this programming thing I know nothing about? Uh, and you're like, oh, I've, I haven't thought about that. And in a quick Google search... <laughs> You have this like epiphany, like I can't believe you just gave me that idea. I have that in art all the time on here, where people are yeah. like, "Wait, why don't you add some birds in the sky?" So I've, I, it's awesome to see that in the programming section too. Awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, anything else you want to talk about uh, to the chat or to the future? 
Um, so many things. I probably don't have enough time to talk about all of it, but uh, uh, <clears throat> be be passionate about something. You know, find something that you really enjoy, and then don't be afraid to tell the world about it. You know, and uh, because that that that's what really matters is creating something that you that you're passionate about that you can be behind for the rest of your life if, it need, if need be. <laughs> Awesome, so. man. Thank you for that wisdom bomb. You guys are dropping some amazing wisdom <laughs> bombs, too. All right, Kurz. So. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rotation on this fine planet. <laughs> you too. Yeah, this is amazing. So keep it up. <laughs> Peace out, dude. See ya. Oh, man. Each of you guys are ending the call with, like, a knowledge bomb. You're just like, have you thought about this? All right, I forgot who we're doing up next. We're doing Fiend. Fiend and then Adonix and then Calm Trues. Uh, should we change up the, the subject? Let's change up the subject. What do you guys want to talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? Anything that's based on Twitch, the creative channel, uh, the creator's stream team that we're working on. Uh, anything you guys want to talk about? We're going to Fiend next. Oh, Calm Trues doesn't want to join us. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So we're going to go to Fiend. Let me find a good question for Fiend here. I kind of want to ask him the uh, how to build community question, if he's still down, if he's still here. Uh, and any broadcasters out there that want to join, if you're in the creative section, music, programming, game development, or talk show, please feel free to join us. Fiend, are you out there? Are you out there, Fiend? So we've talked to some amazing broadcasters. There he is. I'm going to give him a call. We're going to talk about Bob Ross. Call Skype. There it goes. Uh, Bladed Fuentes. Yes. Uh, so we're going to do Fiend, Adonix, Bladed Fuentes. Fiend. Hello. How's it going? Doing good, man. How are you doing? Doing excellent. So, Fiend, let's let's hear a pitch of your channel in eight words or less. No, no, I lied. Sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. Oh, I was getting all prepared for the eight words or less. Damn. Okay. Well, let's uh, do eight eight words or less, but string it out for th sixty seconds. Uh, <laughs> do I talk really slowly or? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for the sixty seconds. Let's see. Um. Well, I'm Fiend, and uh, on my channel, I do traditional artwork mainly. Um, you know, I'd like to draw a lot. I've been drawing basically my whole life, so that's mainly what I do when I'm on stream. Um, but I do a little bit of painting here and there, sometimes some watercolor, sometimes some acrylic. And uh, we just like to hang out on my channel, have a good time, listen to good tunes, and just uh, enjoy each other's company. So... Uh, and I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you this question up here, but I think a more important question for you is how do you build community in your channel? Community? Well, damn, that's a good question. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I would say, you know, you just have to, you have to be yourself. You have to be a genuine person and uh, then that way people can relate to you and, and then they want to they want to return they want to come back and and tell you about how they're doing and and share with you I have a lot of folks on the channel that share artwork with me and, and make art for me and it's amazing it's awesome and and it really does feel like like a little community of folks out there all over the world you know and, and it blows my mind uh, every time when I'm hanging out talking with these people so I just think it's important to to be yourself be relatable and, uh, you know, just let people know that you're there to hang out and you're there for them. <laughs> awesome. And uh, how do you build community offline? Do you use Twitter or Instagram or any of those things? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, I'm not so great at the social media, social networking. But, uh, yeah, I, I've got the Instagram. I've got Twitter. I've got the fan page, which is the Facebook page. And, yeah, I try to maintain all of those and, and keep up with the artwork and all the comments on there and the messaging and everything. So, yeah. Awesome. Are there any topics that we've talked about that you want to jump on and talk about? The inspiration um, one is actually one I'd love to ask you. Where do you find your inspiration? That's a good one. I like that question, Monkey. I yeah, like it too. I, I, I think it's perfect for you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, 
My inspiration comes from uh, many different sources. It just kind of, you know, it's all over the place. I, uh, it a lot comes from what I watch. I watch a lot of, you know, old, old movies and, and Twilight Zone and stuff like that. Um, it comes from the music I listen to, um, of course, from the things I read. So really my influence just comes from everywhere. And so when I find, you know, like you were saying before, when you're having a dry spell or a creative drought, I just kind of go back to those things and reacquaint myself with the things that I enjoy. And I find that it, it brings my inspiration back. So you, when, you're, when you're in that creative block, you find that kind of revisiting old inspiration brings that back to you, to, to your yeah, art? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, uh, Joan and Vasquez is a, is a huge inspiration to me. I think he's an amazing artist. He's a guy that does Invader Zim. And Johnny the Homicidal things. Maniac, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And so um, I really admire his style. I really admire his, his illustration style and things like that. And so, you know, sometimes if I'm feeling like, ah, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'll just, I'll read some Johnny or I'll read some I Feel Sick or I'll watch some Invader Zim and I'll just... You know, it'll just inspire me. It'll give me some weird thoughts going in my head and some, you know, crazy ideas. And then I want to get down and, like, work them out on paper. Absolutely. And then <laughs> I, I'd actually love to talk about uh, the splatter art you do. I mean, it's it always seems strange to me because you, you're you always, like, planning <laughs> it out. You're masking off an area. And then there's this moment of chaos where you're just oh like, just <laughs> go for it. So I, I'd love to hear about that real fast. Okay, yeah. It's, um, I really love splatter. I, I do uh, fine art work too, and my fine art is more abstract based. Um, I like to play with geometric shapes as well as abstract, which is the splatter and, you know. I, so it's just something, I like the motion and the liquid, you know, the fluidness of it. So when I do a drawing and I add the splatter, it's always really nerve-wracking because I'll, I'll do the piece first, get it all nice and done, and then, yeah, you've seen me do this. I'll, I'll mask it off with some contact paper or something, put it in the old splatter box, and just go to town. And it's like, oh, gosh, I, cross your fingers that it yes, didn't get ruined. <laughs> I, there was one time when I got to tune in for the splatter box, and I was literally on the edge of my chair. Because you, you were just like like this high, tense moment where you're like, this is going to be ruined, you guys. It's going to be ruined. And you're like it pulling is. off the tape. <laughs> like it could go one way or the other. Yep. And, and so far on stream, it's only been good. We've If it's been like you know a little mistake, it's been able to be salvaged. So we haven't had a total disaster yet. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe one day. Hey, there are no, no mistakes. Happy accidents, right? <laughs> Hey, you said it, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to say to chat or the future out there? Um, just thanks, everybody. Thank you guys for welcoming me into this community. You guys are amazing, and I love the support of all my fellow streamers and all the viewers out there. Um, I'm just really stoked with Twitch. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it, and I look forward to being around for a lot longer. So. I, I hope you're here for a lot longer. You're an awesome broadcaster, <laughs> and I'm so happy to say uh, that we're a part of the same awesome. community. <laughs> right on. Thanks. Thanks, guys. All right, dude. Have a wonderful rotation, my friend. All right. You too. Later, man. Peace out. All right. We're going to call Adonix. Adonix. Um, I've lost your name in this huge list of... <laughs> I had like eight people on my Skype before. You guys, you guys have ruined it, ruined everything. Uh, Adonix, actually, if you want to give me a call, I can't find your name. Ad so we were gonna talk to Adonix. Let me see what the old list is here. Uh, Adonix, Bladed Fuentes, and then Mr. Calm Trues. So let me find Adonix on here. Uh, and if you guys have any new topics, I'm kind of just going over all of the old ones. Because I've run out of material. Oh, Sticky! Sticky is here. Sticky, do you want to join in on this? We're bringing broadcasters in to talk about the creative section. We would love to have you here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Donix. Uh, hey there. How's it going? Uh, it's not going so bad, thanks. How's yourself? Doing wonderful. So, hey, Donix, I would love to hear a 60-second pitch of your channel here on Twitch. Well, my channel is just a big old eclectic mess of me trying to figure out various techniques, new ideas. I'm basically challenging myself in all of my streams. 
taking on something I've never done before and seeing how well it works. Awesome, man. Uh, and uh, what is your medium? Your medium is mostly digital, if I remember correctly. It's mostly digital, although okay. I have uh, done some 3D work with Blender in the past on stream as well, but I haven't done that for a while. Mostly due to the fact that the render times are just horrendous. Yeah, with the stream going on at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you, you make this wonderful thing and then make people sit for six hours while it renders and then, yeah, it just sort of kills it dead. <laughs> Uh, well, we're talking about we're, we're kind of talking about all the old topics. So, if there's anyone that sticks out in your mind that you want to talk about, maybe where do you find your inspiration? That was a good one. My inspiration. My inspiration usually comes from much bigger projects. Most of my inspiration for things that I've been doing has come from the desire to produce my own animated series and in trying to figure out what's going to be the most efficient way of producing the result that I want. Awesome. And so it's it's a large project that you're doing only on your own? Yep, just me. Awesome, man. I tend to self-produce everything. I mean, back in the day, I used to do World of Warcraft Machinima and all that sort of stuff, which is a very labor-intensive thing. But you're fairly limited with that to what you can do. I wanted to create my own characters and my own stories and put that all together. Yeah, and you get to really tell that your own story that way. You don't have to editorialize or whatever. You can choose to, to, to make what you want that way. And you haven't got to worry about getting sued for copyright by places like Blizzard for using their characters. Yeah, that's always tough. So is there anything else you want to talk about from the past subjects? Ah, uh, the trolling one was an interesting one. Oh, yeah, seems... please feel free. Please feel free. There seems to be a current group of them going around at the moment, which are quite interesting. I mean, trolls, generally speaking, I like trolls because trolls you can, some of them you can engage and you can have quite a lot of fun with. And they enjoy it, you enjoy it, the people watching enjoy it. And there's some that are just, they're just there to cause as much nuisance as they possibly can, at which point the bound hammer comes out and it's just, no, you're boring me, go away. It's so easy to just say, I don't like you, you're boring, and just get them out of there. Like, I don't understand why more people don't see it that way. It's not, it's not only editorializing your content, you're making, you're making it a better place. Well, trolling is actually an art form. The <laughs> trolls that do it well, the trolls that do it well I actually love because they, they actually provide some of the entertainment for the channel. Absolutely. The ones who just come in and go, oh, that's a load of crap, then why don't you do it? So I'm out, go away. Yep. You don't want to watch it, go find something else, go. I mean, I haven't got time to deal with that sort of thing, and you ruin it for everyone else. Yeah, it, and it's funny how much, uh, I mean, probably 95% of the trolls that I see are just boring. I mean, death, as Deathscope would say, it's just boring. <laughs> that's what the banhammer's for. <laughs> Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, if, if you're going to troll, at least be original, at least be entertaining with it instead of just going with the same old tropes that everybody else uses. Yeah, or the copy pasta kind of stuff. Yeah, that was, yeah. So anything else you want to say to the chat, all the other streamers out there, or the future? Uh, well, to the future, I'd like to say send me back next week's lottery numbers. <laughs> uh, to everybody else in the chat, I'd like to say just keep doing what you're doing. There's some amazing people doing some amazing work out there. I pop in a lot of them from time to time just to pick up new ideas for new techniques. And everybody gives something, even if they don't realize it, even if it's just, oh, I like how he did that line. Let's have a look to see how, oh, I never thought of doing that. Just do your own thing. Enjoy what you're doing, and other people will enjoy you doing it. Yeah, and ask questions. I mean, I don't know how many times I've been in a channel where I have that same moment where I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never seen someone do that. And then Twitch is a place where you can type into the chat, what did you just do? Tell me how to do it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've picked up a lot of things from some of the people whose streams I've been watching. I mean, there's one particular streamer who's in the creative side on Twitch who actually... Well, she didn't specifically make me go out and do it, but because of seeing the work that she was doing, I actually went out and bought a tablet. I learned how to use it, and I am where I am now. <laughs> awesome stuff. Well, thank you so much for being here, being a part of the creative community here on Twitch. 
I hope you have a it's wonderful a day. <laughs> and you also. Peace out. That was Adonix. Adonix. Let me see, where do I have it? Follow Adonix. Okay, so we're going to go to Bladed Fuentes. Are you out there, Bladed Fuentes? Let me see if I can find you on this list here. So if you guys have any other questions, we're talking about all things creative. Sam Peterson Art, thank you so much. Please give him a follow. He's an awesome streamer here on Twitch. Any of my mods are all awesome streamers. Please, please give them follows. Not only are they great broadcasters, but they're they're they have their own community. They they really think about this platform as a transformative platform to to shape the future, to change things. So we're going to go to Bladed Fuentes. Are you there? Are you there, Bladed Fuentes? Let me find your name. I'm going to give you a call. And we, we, we're kind of doing uh, we're kind of doing an open topic right now, so let me know if you guys uh, have any questions, specific questions. We're going to go call this. Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good, man. How about you? Doing great. So this is this is awesome because this has happened. This has happened once before. So you can give give us a pitch, but give me a pitch of your channel because I haven't heard of you. Oh boy. Um. Well, <laughs> I just started maybe two weeks ago, and um, I I've never been a stranger to the Twitch community, but um, just recently I was like. I tried streaming games. I was like, I suck at this so bad. <laughs> so I, I, um, I went to the creative side. I was like, wow, I can actually do what I'm decent at and um, show it to other people. And that's just what really kind of caught my eye. <laughs> Trying to call <laughs> Monk Anstrike. I just saw your title. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, yeah. we're we're talking about all the topics that we talked about before. Uh, feel free to pick any of them. Uh, the inspiration one is a really good one, or mm -hmm. um, th th this is a good one too. Uh, if you could go back in time and tell tell yourself something before you started streaming, is there any specific thing you'd say? Don't do this or do this. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm gonna start with the inspiration. Go for it. Yeah. Um, jeez. Uh, a lot of I go through. I don't know if anyone else does, but I go through inspirations, <laughs> but like every year. So I'll do like uh, last year. I was into the '80s insanely, and I was just drawing everything with like crazy neon colors and all that stuff. Now I'm getting into more like '60s psychedelic stuff. But really, the um, main uh, theme, I guess, overall that hasn't changed is like everything's grotesque and. <laughs> And um, everything is not necessarily pretty. Like, you'll have drips off of stuff that shouldn't be dripping. You'll have boogers <laughs> hanging out of people's noses. So uh, I don't know where that came from. Uh, I can only assume that came from earlier cartoons I uh, grew up watching. Yeah, the the dumpster patch kids or whatever they're called. All those, all those things from our childhood. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, as for what I would tell myself... Um, I am one of those people who thought it would be a good idea to go to an art school, and um, I went um, for a semester, and I paid out so much money just for that one semester. And um, not uh, dogging anyone that does it or anyone that's thinking of doing it, but for me, it's just I like being self-taught, and there's something about being taught a different way. I know it's good for you, but for some reason, I just can't take it. <laughs> and yeah. now I'm going to just go to college. And uh, so I've been doing fine on my own, just kind of teaching myself. And that'd be the one thing I'd tell myself. Just don't go. Just, <laughs> just start kinda, doing just, it. Yeah, just keep doing it more and more instead of just uh, going and get taught and just teach yourself. That's all I can say. Yeah, I mean, that's something I found in college was uh, they did that kind of splatter effect. They're like, here, try watercolor, try acrylic, try oils, and you never really got to focus on the ones that you wanted to do. So art school right. was almost <laughs> like like a toolbox, but if you already know what tool you want, you don't have to go to the toolbox to try to find it. Mm -hmm. And you have to wait at least four years before you're actually able to use that tool. And I was like, I'm not paying that much money for the stuff they make you go through. Yeah, that's so, actually, I love that as an inspirational thing. It's like you don't have to go to school for it. Just do what you love. Do 
do what you what you like. <laughs> Yeah. I hate to say that though, because anyone that's thinking about going to art school, there's no reason you should. Um, other, that's just my personal opinion. Not with the not, internet. Not not, not with things like Twitch and I, YouTube now, where you can you oh, can yeah, literally log into Stanford and see a live class at Stanford for free, right now. <laughs> when it's uh, compared to like forty thousand dollars a semester, or so exactly. Just think about that. <laughs> yeah. So, any other topics you wanted to talk about? Or talk, no, talk mean, to I'm, the future? I am, uh, I am just so nervous calling in, right? I was <laughs> hoping you had some questions or just something, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, you, you touched on the inspiration question. That was, that was awesome. But uh, yeah. if, you have, if you have like a little thing you want to say to the future, uh, drop a wisdom bomb on us. Oh, wow. Uh, I feel like everything I'm going to say or think about saying is gonna, has already been said. <laughs> and I know that's kind of a boring way to end the call but it's just, it's just like everyone's been saying such great stuff I can't, I can't top it I can't think of anything else everything any, everyone's been saying has been amazing so. well how, how about this reiterate something that was said something that you found, you found really powerful um, the fact that you just have to keep doing it um, that, and it's so cliche it's like oh, you gotta keep practicing to get better but um, that's the one that's really getting to me right now because I took I take years off when I draw, and I'm so bad when I come back, and I just know I need to keep keep it on, and uh, that's what'll really improve you as an artist. And, Absolutely. Uh, there's nothing better than just practicing all the time. Definitely. Well, cool, dude. I'm. I look forward to checking out your channel, seeing what you're doing. I hope you yeah, have man. a wonderful rotation out there on this fine planet. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> All right, peace out and thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling in. No problem. All right, peace out. All right, so who are we going? We're going to Mr. Com Trues here. Uh Mr. Com Trues, I'm going to give you a call here. Um Mr. Com, are you offline? I think you're offline, Com. Uh, if you could give me a call, Mr. Calm Trues, it looks like you're offline. We're going to do uh, serve if he wants to. I'm not sure if he added me. And let's see. Is there a list for all of the Skypers? I'd like to follow them all. Uh, for Skype, you can ask each person individually. I don't feel comfortable just giving out Skype information. And let me actually show you guys something really fast while we wait for uh, Calm Trues. Um, uh, preferences, preferences. Where's preferences in in Skype? <gasps> awesome. Okay. Mr. Com Trues, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, my friend. How you doing, monkey? Doing great. Uh, I was actually wondering if you could send me uh, that Deviant Art thing uh, in Skype uh, real fast, uh, and yeah, then I, I wanted to talk about uh, the Skype thing for like 20 seconds, if that's okay. Sure, no problem, no problem. Cool. So all you guys out there who use Skype and are on Twitch, please, please, please turn on this setting right here. Uh, allow direct connections to your contacts only. Why? Because it hides your IP address. Please, 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 especially if you've uh, added me here today, uh, please turn the setting on. It will protect you from DDoS attacks, which are not that scary. Do not be scared about DDoS attacks. All right, so we're going to go check out this DeviantArt. Mr. Com Trues, how are you doing, you phenomenal being? <laughs> I'm doing very well, well, buddy. I like what you're doing here. I think you're doing a very good thing. And I realize this is your first show, but I, I think this is going to be a really good thing. <laughs> so I hope you stay with it. Thank you, dude. So uh, let's let's hear a little pitch of your channel. Let's hear a little 60-second pitch. Uh, yeah, you know, I do traditional pencil art. So, you know, I'm. Uh, you'll see me often doing, like, viewer drawings. <clears throat> in color and stuff, and they're generally just for the stream. They're kind of like little quirky, fun little drawings. But my focus and my main direction with the channel is to do uh, keep pre and preserve traditional pencil art. So um, that's that's what the whole channel is about, uh, and that's sort of that's that's my jam, and that's what I do. Yeah, and it shows. And it's not only your jam, but it's your uh, your passion. And it shows. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, um, you know, there's been a few, and I quarter, sort of got in here a little late, but, um, you know, there's a few people that, that said, you know, uh, I think the last uh, <clears throat> that was just up said, hey, 
um, you know, sometimes you don't draw for a few years and, and then suddenly you find yourself just being in that creative mode again. And I think that's, that's the same for all of us. Sometimes it's hard to pick up the pencil. Sometimes it's hard to, you know, find that creative inspiration. And this, I think that this um, is a perfect segue then into, uh, how do you find that inspiration? <laughs> yeah. You know, that's a tough one because, um, you know, and one thing I, I kind of want to talk about, it's sort of like a double, double thing here. The one thing that I want to sort of say at the same time as we're talking about this is that um, I had past relationships where, you know, a girlfriend didn't didn't like me taking time away from her because I was drawing all the time and, and ended up destroying a lot of my artwork through anger and, and so on and so forth. So oh, man. let me just, to anybody who's a young artist, anybody, and this is something you guys will hear me say if you watch me and anybody who's part of the stream knows this. Don't let anybody ever stop you from what you're doing. And I don't care if you're drawing teddy bears or you're airbrushing. Like, it doesn't matter what your medium is. Don't let anybody take your inspiration from you because that is your lifeline. And, you know, I'm in my 30s and it took me a really long time to figure that out. So when you're talking about inspiration, that's a really, you know, because you know, Monkey, when you fire up the camera that we're vulnerable to a point, you know, we talked about trolls. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll be working on a drawing and if a troll comes in and they're like, oh, Mr. Come Truth, you know, the nose looks like crap or, you know what I mean? You're like, ah, oh, yeah, I knew that, but I was going to work, you know, that can deflate you. And I just want to just, I think it's so important and that's a message that I always try to convey to my stream that don't let anybody steal your thunder, no matter what you do, just keep practicing. And that's where I think where my inspiration comes from, that I just, you know, I'm going to just go down the path that I'm on, and if people appreciate it, then, you know, we're golden, right? Yeah. Dude, that, that hits, so. the, that's, hits the nail on the head for me. You don't let the trolls steal your thunder. And actually, a trick I do is I turn it around on them. Anything they say about me is actually about them, and I insta-ban. I don't even process what they say because, you know, like you said, you don't let them steal your thunder. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a really great thing because – Sort of a little history. I, I've been streaming now for a year, uh, and I was streaming uh, gaming games predominantly, and it was pretty much a, a very small, tight knit group that were coming. I didn't start dream, uh, streaming in creative until March of this year, and I'll tell you something. Uh, within the first week of streaming, I was like, "This, this is it. This is a hub of where artists gather, where people are coming together." They're sharing their artwork. I often encourage people, and for some of you other streamers out there, make sure that you're encouraging your stream to show you what they're working on. And I always say opinions are like assholes, for lack of a better word. You know, don't, don't critique them. Just, just, you know, hey, man, just encourage them to, to keep going on the path that they're on. And I think that's very, that's very powerful for people. Absolutely. So that's something uh, we need to do. The, day, the first day I did Feedback Friday, you know, there were maybe 10 people who showed their art, but it was an amazing way to connect with them, but also to see that, like, just because you're not broadcasting, just because you're not an established streamer, you can still do some phenomenal work. You can still do something that you absolutely love. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I think you, you probably get this all the time, Monkey, but I get dozens of people on a daily, every time I stream that come in and go, you know, I didn't, I didn't draw for a long period of time or I haven't touched a pencil or a brush, whatever. And now suddenly they're like, I'm drawing again and I'm drawing when I'm watching you and I feel inspired. I'm getting in emails from people and it's not necessarily because of what I'm working on. It's because of the culture we're creating. It's because of the hub that exists here. You got, we are so privileged to have this medium where we can share like, where else can you get a sneak peek into somebody's studio in, a, in that intimate setting to see what they're doing? And, and I think it's just, I feel honored and blessed that I get an opportunity to stream on Twitch. It's a big deal for me. I absolutely feel the same way. We are, we are like-minded folk, Mr. Calm Trues. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So thank you so much for talking with me today. Uh, any last wisdom bombs you want to drop on us? No, I mean, I could go on and on and on. <laughs> People often say, all right, it's time for calm to preach. But no, really, guys, like, stay creative. Don't let anybody derail what you're doing. And uh, just be yourself, man. That's all I can say. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Mr. Calm Trues. I hope you have a wonderful rotation on this fine planet. 
Hey, you as well, monkey. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. <laughs> Peace out, dude. Okay, take care. Please follow that man, Mr. Calm Trues, an awesome, awesome dude here on Twitch. Ink One, are you out there, Ink One? Ink One. And then, uh, we, I'd love to talk to Proper Artist. Is Proper Artist here? He is here. Are you down? Uh, and anyone else out there, please raise your kappas in the air if I haven't talked to you yet. Please raise those kappas up. In the air. All right, you are there. Okay, so, Ink. Ink 1, you are down. We're going to give you a call right now. And if you guys uh, have any questions, I actually really like this question. Um... How has your practice changed? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one. Oops, I'm calling the wrong person. I'm calling the wrong person. <laughs> Failfish. Um there we go. <laughs> you guys have similar names. <laughs> Hello, Hello Ink. Strike. How you doing, dude? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. How you doing? Doing wonderful. So, Ink, I, I know who you are. I know all about Ink Nation. But for all those fine folks out there who don't know you, give us a little pitch on the Ink Nation. Well, basically, the Ink Nation is, is going to be, but it is a celebration of tattooing and anything having to do with ink. I am a sketch artist slash digital artist now slash tattoo artist for a living. Um, I don't know. I love to inspire people to draw every day. That's my whole goal is to get people to pick up the pencil, paintbrush, uh, clay, whatever you use, and do it every single day. Absolutely. I, th I mean, the first time I joined your channel, um, you were still doing the, we uh, the daily, we're drawing a rabbit today, we're drawing an owl today. So that totally comes through in your channel. Uh, I'd actually love to ask you a question. How has your practice changed over time, especially since you've come here on Twitch? Um, well, actually, I've, uh, I've matured a lot since I've come here. Before, it was more or less like when I first came here, it was like I have to impress everybody. Uh, now I'm not, in the, I'm not in the mode where I feel like I have to impress everybody. I am looking and like I'm not looking to uh, be inspired anymore. I'm looking to inspire. So now it's like I know if you come and you're watching me, you already know what I'm doing and 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 you want to learn it and and I'm willing to teach it. Before it was just like, oh, I got to do something spectacular. I'm gonna get booed and I need to get follows and all of that stuff has kind of fell away now. So now and it, I'm over it's it. actually really funny that you say that because I I was doing the same thing on Twitch. I was like, I gotta show people how I can do this. I wanna show people that I can do this. And then there was that click where I was like, you know what? I'm done. I just want to inspire people. And I feel like my work ethic has changed uh, since that 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 switch went off. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes you more relaxed. You know, like I'm way, way more relaxed. I took a hiatus for a, like two days and thought it out and was like, you know what? If they want to watch me, they'll watch me. And it's been great. I love I love Ink Nation. Yeah, dude, you have an amazing community. And uh, actually, we can segue into that, that other question. How do you build community on Twitch and offline? Slowly but surely. <laughs> I, this, the, way that, the way that I look at it is if you're going to build a community, don't, don't build it off the backs of anyone else. Like I know we love getting raided and stuff like that, but a community is built on, from, from within. You know, like if you do something, everybody you want in your chat has to be a part of what you are doing not a mixture of someone else's community, which, I mean, I welcome other people's community, but, you know, that's how you would, like, if a gamer raided you, uh, you're going to get gamers wanting to see you game, or they're going to troll, whereas, like, creative, if you get raided by a creative person, it's like, oh, my God, they're already creative. This is going to be awesome, you know, and it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know. Well, yeah, that, that's, that's, something, pretty, I don't that's something you, you, you say on, on your, your channel is, uh, if you get raided, you're not going to get the right community. You ha have to kind of do that slow build up to people want to people who are there are the people that want to be there. So that's right. totally true. I absolutely agree. Yeah, a lot of people that have beautiful communities on creative channel, they you know the ones that don't have trolls or anything like that. I'm pretty sure they they've been doing it for years, and it was a slow build. Yeah, definitely. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? I know you've probably missed a bunch of the topics, but uh, another good one was, uh, where do you find your inspiration? 
I find my actually I, I find my inspiration from everybody on creative. I mean, like I used to be a gamer until I stumbled up on creative. Uh, and everybody that that I know that are, are like I'm either I'm a mod in their channel or anything like that. Like these are the people that inspire me to do stuff. Like they've inspired me to do digital, uh, death sculpt, inspired me to want to do uh, sculpting. You know, like everybody inspires you to want to do something. So I draw my inspiration from the people that I watch every day. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, are there any uh, last-minute wisdom bombs you want to drop on the chat in the future? Um, if I could give anybody wisdom, I would say find what you love and do it often as possible. That would probably be the only thing that I could give you. Uh, as far as cre it doesn't have to actually be creative. I wish it will be. Uh, but anything that you love, do it as often as possible because life is too short. Awesome advice, man. Awesome. <laughs> I, I always look forward to your streams. Uh, I'll probably be in there later today. I hope you have a wonderful rotation on this fine planet. Thank you, sir. Uh, thanks for talking with us. Goodbye. Uh, anytime. <laughs> Peace out. Later. All right, so we have, we've gone through all of the streamers out there on my list. Uh, Serve, if you're still out there, I'm down to talk with you. Proper artist, I'd love to talk with you, proper artist. Proper, proper, proper. Uh, let me. I'm just gonna cold call proper. He's not even gonna. He's not even gonna see it coming. Uh, and please follow Ink One and any of my mods. Anybody in this channel who's a mod, if you don't follow them, shame. I'm gonna ring the bell of shame on you. Hold on. What's up, proper artist? What's good? Let me meet your stream real quick. Listening to me two times over, two two times over. I've actually over. got your stream like uh, in the little corner of my thing while I'm watching, well, while I'm streaming. So, yeah. <laughs> well, Don't proper know. artist, I know you well, but please share with the chat in 60 seconds or less what your channel is all about. Uh, here in properly mad, we are simply phenomenal and instantly classic. But always properly mad, of course. Um, I like to do a lot of comic book and game type of uh, artwork. I'm mostly an oil painter. Uh, I plan on doing a couple of sketching type things. I go back to graphite eventually. Um, but I just kind of do what comes to mind, whatever I get inspired off of, whether it be a song, or, you know, I see a comic, or, you know, a new movie's coming out, and I'm like, that would be cool, and I just decide to do it. Don't really get dictated by what someone tells me to do, because I've just kind of been an anti-authority type dude. Uh, <laughs> So I just, you know, paint on stream to relax myself. Uh, are there any of the topics that you wanted to specifically talk about, or I could ask you one randomly? Oh, uh, the troll one was interesting, and I'm kind of hilarious. Nobody ever brought it up. Um, but in the creative section, even though I know we don't get a lot of trolls, and we do tend to get them whenever we get, you know, uh, the, the big streamers coming in here, a lot of people that try to troll don't understand that a lot of artists have had their work crushed in critique. You know, they've had people uh, completely destroy something that they worked hours on trying to make. And you get conditioned to handle any kind of uh, negative things people try to say to you about your work, especially when you do what we do. So when people come in and say those types of things and you know they're trying to troll, it's like, you know, you ain't really making no difference. You ain't saying nothing that that uh, ain't really been said before, you know. I'm out here doing what I'm doing on Twitch, putting myself out there, networking, doing all this, and you're just behind the keyboard doing what you're doing. Yeah, so, that, that old phrase, uh, what is it, everyone's a critic? Exactly. <laughs> uh, so we could also talk about uh, how has your practice changed since you've been on Twitch? In, in what way exactly? Uh, well, so for me, um, I found that uh, when I started streaming on Twitch, there was an, an instant change in how I view making my art, uh, how I get inspired by, by creating. I was wondering if there was a similar kind of change in you uh, when you started streaming here on Twitch. Um, it's a little bit hard, harder for me to have like a more straightforward answer because even though I just started really getting into the full swing of doing this full time, I've been around Twitch since it was just in that TV in 2009. So I've seen like a lot of people come and go. You know, I've, I've seen people start from the bottom and blow up on Twitch. 
And I learned a lot from watching them do that. And in some cases, I've been by those people's side. So I kind of have seen what it takes to get to certain points or just getting lucky on it. Um, and honestly, the only thing that I kind of uh, realized was just being consistent with, with your schedule, doing what you love to do, don't really do what anybody else really wants you to do because then you get uh, bogged down with, man, I don't really want to do this, I'm not motivated to do this. Yeah. But as long as you have fun, you do what you want to do and you're consistent, then people will come in, they'll watch you, you know, you don't have to be concerned with followers and how many people are watching you at a time. I got to the point where I have my setup to where I block out the how many people are watching me and how many people are active and all that stuff because I'm just focused on my chat, what I'm doing, have my music playing, and we're going on all cylinders. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, Swats here has been dropping some knowledge bomb questions. Do you have a dream project? Um, in what way? Like, like one everybody? project, it's one project that's been sitting in the back of your mind that you've just been saying, one day I'm going to make this, or one day I'm going to do this kind of project. Uh, the big thing that I've always wanted to do is make a comic book. I've got like two in mind that I'm currently hashing out. I've told a couple of people about it, Ink One in particular. I've told about it. Um, you know, and it's cool that we're on Twitch because I can network with a lot of people who may be better in certain aspects than I am. Like, you've seen me paint. I'm really good with, like, really good detail and cover art and stuff like that. But doing a lot of the inside panels may uh, tire me out. It may um, crush some inspiration here and there. Like, I may get tired of doing it. But, you know, with so many people who are well-versed in so many different styles and can do so many different things, um, now I can talk to somebody who's good with the inking and the inside of something like Ink One, you know. I can talk to somebody that's really good with the Photoshop coloring side of things. You know, I've got myself to do, um, to do the cover work. You know, if I need somebody to go over it and tell me what, what do I uh, need to adjust and, and, you know, get right, or if I need a color, I need to you know, spot in because I may not know how to do that digitally. They can help me with it. So, I mean, like, that's kind of the big thing that I'm trying to do is the the uh, comic thing. I hope to one day be able to work on that on Twitch. Yeah. Like, right now. Or, or with, with other people on Twitch. I mean, that's what's cool about the creators on Twitch is that we can – you can post that on there and say, hey, I have this idea for a comic. And even if one person says, I'm in, let's make this, that's one more person – helping you out to, to have your dream. Exactly. <laughs> well, any other knowledge bombs you want to drop on the chat or the future? Uh, this is just for me personally. Um, like Kind of like what everybody else was saying. If you have a an idea of what you want to do, just go ahead and as long as you have stuff planned out in case it doesn't pan out, go for it because I spent so many years doing what I didn't necessarily want to do. I did the school thing and it turned out to not be something that I, you know, really enjoyed doing in the long run. And I put like a lot of time and effort into it because somebody else wanted me to do it. And I took jobs that I didn't want to necessarily invest myself in because I was doing things that I didn't want to do, but I needed to pay, you know, bills and shit like that. So, um, you just do what you want to do as long as you have it planned out and you 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 know have people to support you on it even if you don't you know take the shot you know never know what could happen just put yourself out there and mm -hmm. things can happen for better or worse at least you learn from it because i would rather put myself out here on twitch do this thing and fail then years down the line miss my opportunity to do this and say well i regret never doing that so Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. I'm so glad you were able to stop in today. No problem, man. Well, I hope you have a fine rotation. Enjoy your stream. I'll probably be in there later. <laughs> thank you, brother. All right. Peace out, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. We've got through so many awesome streamers. That was proper artist, the properly mad. Uh, I'm actually getting super pooped right now, super, super pooped, so I think I'm going to finish up with kind of a summary and throw in my, my, uh, my thoughts in there. Um, and also catching up with the chat, catching up with you guys. If you guys have any questions for me, we can chill out. 
uh, and talk a little bit. That was awesome, you guys. I had so much fun. I had so much fun doing that. A little cheers. A little cheers to all you guys, especially to all you guys who called in. Uh, all of you amazing, amazing beings of Stardust. Uh, Ricochet Hex. So one thing, one thing I do want to mention. The creators on Twitch stream team has been applied for. Val Dudes has applied for the, uh, the stream team. We're going to start getting broadcasters in the stream team. There are some requirements, so if you go to creatorsontwitch.com, you can check out all about the stream team, all about the projects we're doing. A little ding to you guys. So let's just go, we'll do a little quick, a little quick recap on all these questions here. How do you deal with trolls and malicious users? I pretty much heard from everybody the same thing in a different way. Put them under, under the rug. Push them under the rug, either by banning them, not worrying about them, or has, as Death Sculpt and kind of Val dudes uh, do in their channels, they just, they just blatantly make fun of them and ban them. And then the chat just kind of laughs them out of there. It's, it's pushing them under the rug, not letting them affect you. Uh, because the instant that they let they affect you, they've they've won. So don't don't let them win. Uh, how do you interact and engage your audience? Chat interaction. It's all about reading the chat, reading uh, up on what people are thinking about it. It's a 15 to 20 second delay, but it's almost instantly knowing uh, what's wrong or uh, what's good in your stream. So always interact with your chat. Uh, how do you apply for the creative stream team? Let me get the link for you there while I talk about this next one. Do you use gimmicks in your broadcast? Why, no. No, I don't use gimmicks at all in my broadcast. Um, so, <laughs> this, this is something that, that is divisive in the community. You don't have to use gimmicks. You don't have to do it. Uh, I, I personally like doing it uh, because the fact that like you guys can spam, you guys can spam the, the, Bob, the Bob Ross Fro emotes and then instantly you affect change in the stream. Gimmicks are just another way to interact with your audience. So I, I see that as, as a really fun way to interact with you guys. Where do you find inspiration? From you guys, from, from Death Sculpt, LP Music, Litvac, all of the amazing streamers here, Great R, Crunchy Beast. I, I have had a problem where I'm addicted to Twitch now. I, I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about the creators on Twitch. Um, uh, great art. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to you. I'm so pooped. I need to go ice my arms and stretch out. But I do want to finish this by uh, kind of summarizing everything. Um, where'd Moss go? It's Bob Moss now. Uh, how do you build community in your channel and offline? Uh, it's all about interacting with the community, uh, how they want to be interacted to, and creating that community that you want to interact with. Uh, one thing that I've found in my channel is that... Uh, if I create that vibe, I, I am the, the purveyor of the vibe here in the Massiverse, and people listen to me. You know, some people might have a problem with it. Uh, if you honestly have too much of a problem with it, you're gone. You, you don't deserve to be here. You have to, you have to work your way into the Massiverse, although it's open to everybody. But everyone has one chance. <laughs> what, what would someone who wants to stream about to know about broadcasting before they start? Just do it. Just do it. Get OBS, get a crappy webcam, and just do it. <laughs> you must broadcast original content. Uh, Crunchy Beast. Um, absolutely not. That's totally fine. I, I know it's a whisper, but I just wanted to say that's totally fine, man. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What are a few qualities you look for when streaming, when watching streams? I look for interaction with the audience, positivity, and the positivity doesn't have to be my explosive positivity. Uh, it's it's all about not not letting things affect you. Like someone in chat could say, "Hey, that ear is 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 wrong. You're you're painting it wrong." You don't let that affect you. You let it uh, motivate you and empower you. And same thing when I'm watching a stream. I want to see someone who is passionate and able to to be inspired by whatever comes their way. Uh, let me see, uh, how do we find mods in your chat? I'm modded artist, so that's a hard question for me to answer. How do you create your interface? Meh, I don't really have an interface. For streaming setup, what would you recommend? Uh, OBS is free. Start off simple. Don't buy a bunch of equipment. You might not even like streaming. Give it a try. See how you like it. Uh, so what I'm going to do here... Oh, I don't have the fro on anymore. Um, there, there, were two, there were two things that happened today. One of them was we went over 100 viewers. So I'm going to do a giveaway here. Let's get some giveaway hype in the channel. Let's get some kappas in the, in the channel. 
I'm actually going to do two giveaways. I'm going to do two giveaways because there was, there was a curse word that was uttered. It wasn't from my lips, but I feel bad. I feel bad for the PG con.